<laughs> he's been fucking begging to do for like the entire time that it's taken since the last session. Oh, this is somehow gonna go bad. Right. You mean somehow? We'll find a way. So, oh, yeah. everyone is here once again. We're back at it after two weeks now, I think. I two think four. it's three. Two yeah, or three, three, four weeks. Yeah. Oh god, it might be four. No, it's not it's four. It's four. It's not four. It's, it's, it's definitely the it's most three. Three. It's been three weeks. So, four. if everybody's ready, I will... Um, I'm going to do the recap uh, this week. Yes, you should. Because it's been such a long time, uh, yeah, I actually I had, I had notes and everything. I have notes. I, I planned out um, how to do a recap with the most uh, precise recap that I could. So, oh no! Last time on Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. So the cutoff, the best part. The cutoff is the best part. So, it's been a while since our last session. I figured I should do the recap today. So, yeah, following our, the... Our, po- uh, this is the fucking our, recap, motherfucker, if you don't want to not interrupt. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> following the party's completion of Gaul's tomb, uh, the death of their former owner, and the discovery that they may, in fact, be part of some fake goddess's prophecy, the group come to an <laughs> understanding with the dread lord Gaul. He would provide aid as they try to complete the many tasks on their shoulders. Rejoined by the fallen Azamar Floric and the Owl Sharpshooter Hoot, the group discuss their many tasks that include clearing their names, preventing the Void Dragon and Anes being reborn, and stopping the Lux Priesthood from gaining too much power. After deciding where to go, the team ventured to Freshall, but not before Nerestine sneakily made a deal with Gold to learn necromancy. On the way to Freshall, the party encountered a rare sight, a guild trader under attack. After a hard-fought battle, the group slew the strange assassin and took Trevor the trader to Freshall. The party, however, made a nasty mistake. When spoken to by the town's guard, Captain Lin, the group attempted to give fake names, only to be outed by the man they saved. He did, however, use his strong reputation to vouch for him. Now we are at Fresh Hall and the team is in need of a real bed to sleep in and some coin. So, I ask you, group, going back to the map where I can see who you are, what do you do? What do That's you do? way note. more precise than the notes I had. Quick uh, note, last session was April 9th, so yes, four weeks. Oh, okay. Uh, also, a little note, I'm going to show everyone off the nice new tokens that we have by our grand artist. Yeah! So, we have the female version of Nerestine, and then, with a click of a button... It's real big, you can't miss it. They are now the male version of Nerestine. I didn't have to get a new token or anything. There's a way that I can swap them. And then... Now, now remember, Shadow. Ponytail, no ponytail. No ponytail. Ah, no ponytail. Ah, that, was in my, that was actually in my notes. That's, that's <laughs> the best fucking line. We do also have the wonderfully hideous art yeah. of Joke and Won't. It haunts my nightmares every time I close my eyes. Um, I stare into the abyss and this image stares back. The, the new Mount Rushmore. And the P.O.T. Nightmare stares back. I, hang on. If that's what I see where I'm on P.O.T., I need to stop. One day my sleep paralysis demon is just going to be work and work, and it's going to be fantastic. <laughs> oh, God, no. I actually don't know what's more terrifying, work and won't, with the body or without it. Uh, without just the head. Just the disembodied heads just floating. Mm. Um, yeah. If you like what you're hearing, by the way, this is music that was created by a friend of ours named Fabio. He is available if you throw money at him to do things like make lovely little soundtracks like this. He has a few other songs that I'm going to be putting in, but uh, there's two that we have today. Um, but yeah, so if everyone's ready and they have an Music's idea of what they want to do, uh, please tell me what would you like to do? 
Go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pass, yeah. Pass, we, pass we out right probably, there on the street. Uh, He's still probably, barfing after all this time. Yeah, we should probably get Wilk. Yeah, we need to get him out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is, is Wilk, like, hemorrhaging as we speak? Yeah, no, like, I need how, a how, hospital. How, how, how bad is uh, Wilk? Like, what I, color? Yeah, I asked Captain... So we don't oh. waste spells or anything. Oh. I asked Captain Lin mm -hmm. if there's, like, a... a a doctor or any kind of physician that can tend to Wilk and his poisoned estate. Ah, well, she scratches the back of her head. Um, th there's no real doctors around. I mean, you could technically see the priest. They're a healer, but you can't at the moment. They're running a sermon. Um, I mean, oh, no. maybe... Just let he just has a good night. Maybe if he just has a good night's sleep, he might be okay. Let me at least do one more healing spell on him. It should stabilize him a bit. Um. So I'm going to cast uh, Cure Wounds at level 3 on Wilk. And Dar will cast Lay on Hand. Oh. <laughs> Damn. That was good. That was good. That was good. First one for the night. Starting strong. Okay, so I'm going to roll. Yeah. 3d8. And then we're going to add a, lot, a lot, whole bunch of shit. And I know what you are helping. So 15 plus. Give me a second here. I got to do math, folks. So I apologize. That's fine. Life corrects. It's ten. To Fifteen be plus uh, two. That's seventeen plus three. Twenty. You get twenty hit points back, Wilk. Okay. I have already added your health for you because it wasn't on there from before. So that's oh, the that health that you're at now. So um. that just takes care of that. Maybe we should just go to the inn and hopefully get some rest. Yes. Um, I can Dara, do that. Ca Captain Lin, um, <laughs> uh, asks, well, uh, I notice you're a redhead. <laughs> God damn. Captain Lin, um, what does Captain... the Lin stand for? God damn it. Um, Cap uh, Captain Lin, you said there's a fort, a blacksmith. Is there a dwarf there? Uh-oh. Why... Why do you want a I, dwarf? She looks at um, you puzzly, puzzled, raising an eyebrow. My, my axe is special made. Uh, the, the craftsman said to primarily let the major is that, work out the dwarf. Is that what you're into? May I may I see the axe? Uh, I pull it off my back and unsheath it and show the blade to them, holding it in both hands. Is this a DM and a... a approved so, special hack. Lin, Lin, so Captain Lin goes and looks at it and go, and then looks at you and then looks at it. You don't need a dwarf to fix this. You could probably fix this with a whetstone. Okay, good to know. Fine. Have you <clears throat> never tried to fix your own equipment? I have. I think... Then how would you not know something like that? Because the person who gave it to me said exactly that. I, I mean, think they were joking were, around. Were, were they not good with things, or were they pulling a fast one on you? Were they maybe I being they were, picky? I think they were pulling a joke on me. Okay. All right, thank yeah. you for letting me know. Captain Lin, I'm just going to go ahead and apologize for anything that will come out this man's mouth in the next couple of however long we're here. Let's find an inn. Well, if you want, if you want to go to the inn, she gestures over to this building over here. That's that's the inn right there. So uh, uh, okay, yeah, which building? Out. Sorry, I gotta. Yeah, yeah. zoom the fuck out. It is Sorry. this building Sorry, over here. Oh, there okay, we go. We're, 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 yeah, lead us to the building, Knox Park. It's this one. Uh, oh. To the left. Yes. Oh, okay. It's that one over there. Okay. Lead, <laughs> you, Sorry, lead, lead us, oh, lead really us to the building, Seymour. <laughs> Seymour. Seymour will lead the way. As as Seymour goes past the guards, they give him this like look. Like, do we do we let 
the crab will just walk in or uh, and they look over to it's captain tough. they look over to captain lynn and she just she kind of just shakes her head and just 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 let them in just, just let them in she's just, but, but, like risk, she's already risk, hard. Risk, hey, risk the crab risk him <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. reach, where's, reach where's under its here? waist to make sure it's not carrying any illegal where's, where's, stuff uh, i'm going to step into the Okay, okay, wait, 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 no, don't throw yourself into the darkness. Yeah. Okay. I thought, well, I thought you could uncover it. That. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to uncover it, but I'm waiting for everyone to be in a position oh. to uncover it. Oh. Dar's just, Dar's just no. standing in the middle of the fucking, okay, right. My, my mouse is acting weird, sorry. Who the fuck? Oh, that's right, bitch cast a the disguise. Okay, that's yep. right. Right, so... Who the fuck is this bitch? <laughs> right, so people who want to go into the bar, you will notice that ab above the door there is a sign that says the Barrington Bar Inn. <laughs> if you would like to go into the bar, that's completely up to you. Okay, stop. Stop. Because a thing happens. Oh, oh boy. The moment you enter, you start to look at yourself, and you realize that you no longer look like a human. You, by force, revert back to the way you look. And you hear a chuckle, you hear a chuckle from this dwarf at the bar. Smug bastard. I see oh shit. Son of a bitch. <laughs> and he looks over you and he goes, Ah! Try to use magic in my bar, are ya? Not gonna happen here, lassie. Oof. Oh boy. I was also sort of like, who, who is this person? I don't, I don't pay him any mind, I just keep on going. <laughs> Roll embarrassment. <laughs> I, I mean, it wasn't for embarrassment. Like, I know, I know. <laughs> Wait, is Seymour going to stay if we he go enter? No, that's a good I mean, question. I mean, if we pay for him, I think it would be fine. I, 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 I think I, I think she more meant will the, the spell that keeps him oh, alive. Oh shit! <laughs> well, maybe not. It, it's well, gonna well I'm gonna walk magic. through the door, and you tell me you tell me what happens. Yeah, you walk you walk through completely fine. There's nothing wrong with you. And the moment you walk, Seymour walks through. Seymour disappears. Okay, no. can I, can, okay. I want to say that he poofs. Yeah, yeah. He literally like, poofs. Like, there's like a fucking dust cloud. Yeah, like yeah. he blows. <laughs> I, your wee pal ain't coming in here, big head. I, I know he's okay, it's just it was very sudden. Uh, how much would it be to day. stay the night for... It's not every day, I see him just explode uh, like that. For, for, for six of us? I, it'll be ten gold each. Ah, no, no, sorry. I've only got enough room for the lot of ya. So, it's gonna be fifteen gold each. Because you're taking all my rooms. All work, all of them. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, so. Oh, thank you. We don't have enough. I, I whisper to several of them. Oh. Shit, Ooh. actually. Is 15 each? Is that it? 15, yeah, 15 gold each. each. Ooh. Actually, take a look at what I do have because I think I have something. We have something. It's just not much. We've yeah, literally yeah, got, we've I've, pretty I've, much. I've 13, he, here's 13. the thing. I think Car I think Kara's nearest dean technically is the only one with enough because she's got like 200 gold. I think. Nope. How much do you have? I have 74. 74. Yeah, because you got a bigger amount. The rest of us got 14. Before I join everyone else, I'm going to go up to the barkeep and just ask him, um, hello sir, uh, is this the only establishment that has an anti-magic field? I just want to know, so I know where my friend won't be able to join he, me. He leans on the bar and he leans into you and he goes, why yes, big Ed. You see, I don't want none of you bastards doing magic in my bar. So it's, so it's just here, not anyone else in town? Well, I'm the only one, apart from probably one of the traders, 
that can actually afford it, so... Yeah. Fair enough. Have a nice day. I will be back a little later. Uh, I'm gonna go back up to the barkeep, and I'm gonna ask, is there a way we could maybe work for our stay for the night? No. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait! I have a question. Does uh, the uh, the GP is that is that gold? Yeah, GP is gold. Yeah. GP, yeah. Oh, I, I have enough. I'm a, like. Wait, wait. Good. Do you? Wait, what? You said 102? How do you have 102? Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's been fucking savaging gold this entire time, and none of you realized. Uh... Okay. All um, right, hold on. Okay, so 15, 30, he's got 45, like a, 60. He's got a fucking treasure trove in his pocket. It's more like in his boots. Even better. It's it's inside worse. <laughs> oh no. 75. He has to cough them up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he like exists. Yeah, we need 90. Here, here's the thing. Do you want to put all the gold towards it, or...? Yes. Okay. I mean, he, I mean, he, I mean like, how many? How much do we need for everyone? We Nine. need a 90. 90 for all six of us. Okay. <laughs> I will put Wait, 15 six? of my measly gold that I barely have. You will pay for you, is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> you're the person I... at the party. The, you're the person at the restaurant that went. No, I'm paying for what I ate, motherfuckers. Not what any of I... you ate. I, I, I can't <laughs> pay I'm, for I'm my stay. Yeah, I can't pay stay for mine either. <laughs> Nearest these like fucking poor people. <laughs> so now we just need seventy-five. Well, Wilk, do you want to go pay? Yes. I think he should sit down and just hand us your coin pouch. Oh, how about I, you I, I stop move up to the bartender free, <laughs> and I put down my 15 gold for my room. Aye, thank you, elf. He take he he. You notice he he doesn't go to grab the money. He grabs a bar cloth. And he puts the cloth over the money, then he drags it forward. Oh no. <laughs> Not shocking. Ask him why he's so scared of magic. I I'm not scared of magic. It's just you fucking are. The amount of times <laughs> fucking out. The amount of times I've had to pull people apart playing fucking cards cause some jackass wants to use it. Well, 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 please. Thank you. Love you. Hey, listen. I'm not actually paying for them. I'm just gonna pay for Will. It's fifteen. Aye. <laughs> Thank you, you rock abomination. <laughs> How is the money produced? Great. All right. All right. I'm, uh, I'm very. I'm very. The wall yeah. Arm and it comes out like a slot machine. <laughs> yeah. That's right out of his mouth, like. It's... <laughs> or flat. Yeah. Wants, he's like a fucking no. pest. <laughs> yeah. What? Wants like, hey, you want to see a magic trick? Blah. <laughs> <laughs> Coins. So that leaves four of us without a room. Great. Uh. I don't. Uh, oh, my health appears to have been erased, so I don't even know how much damage I took last. Don't worry. Don't worry about wait, wait, that. Don't worry about that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. If it's just, w let's pull our money together and share a room. I know that's not happening. It's one person per room, or you fuck off. <sighs> this is no like two person plan at the very least, but okay. Well, then we don't have enough. Thank you, sir. Dark as Spire. as you leave, your friend, who you may notice have entered, looks at you, rolls his eyes, and then goes, oh, "Baraton brothers, you're the worst kind of stingy bastards I've ever seen." And then he slides some gold across to him and goes, "Just let them 
have their room. You notice he's putting on an accent. He, he wasn't talking like this before when you guys were talking to him. But all of a sudden, now that he's in a place where multiple people see him, he's putting on an accent. <laughs> oh. Uh, I, I'm going to go over to him, say thank you. If you, thank you. If you would need healing at some point, let me know. I'll try to pay you back that way. No, I don't need any healing. However, if you and your retinue of... Uh, squabbling heroes would like to perhaps see me perhaps in a day or two there is some business that I would like to take up with you I will be uh, over with uh, with the traders uh, probably in the general goods store I have some stuff to deliver but uh, if you come and see me in a day or two I may have a proposition for you okay. we would appreciate it thank you, thank you. he finishes the drink that he had been given while you were all discussing what to do about the money. He tips his head towards the barkeeper and he promptly leaves. Yeah. Well, okay. Do we need a key for the rooms? The dwarf gra the dwarf bends down a second. You see that he brings up a series of keys one at a time and plops them out on the table and he goes aye here are your keys we've got one bathroom up there you gotta share it now the uh, esteemed trader has paid for you all for three nights now he was nice enough to get the bed and breakfast option so you get two meals a day but you only get one drink with those meals. So anything else comes out of your pocket. Anything broken, looking at you, stone man, uh, you got to pay for it. Hey, don't talk about want like that. Hey, listen, I've dealt with your kind before. You tend to break shit. You don't mean it, but you tend to break shit. You've had stone golem customers before? How, how frequent is this? He looks, he looks specifically at Dar and goes, Son, where are we? I'm new to these lands. Are we perhaps near fucking mountains? <laughs> you, <laughs> you know, you know where Goliaths fucking live. I usually thought they kept to the mountains. I didn't think they came this far down. Listen, this man worships a tree. I don't think he knows what he's talking about. He worships a tree. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, you're not one of them fucking druids, yeah. are ya? He, 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 wants, he, wants, he wants to do a little bit more than worship that tree. Shut up. If you're one of them fucking druids, don't be trying to turn into any animals. It won't work. Not a concern you need to worry about, sir. Thank you for the room. If you were a tree, he would serenade you and then ask you how your day was. That's his, that's where he's at right now. I, I grab hey. I grab two keys. I'm gonna go over to Hera and take her hers. Uh, Hera uh, has been many, in the corner the entire time. How yeah, many I'm floors going is this building? Sorry, so that this is two floors. So if you look, there is a whole other floor that I have revealed up here. Okay. Oh. Oh. oh hold on. Okay. So you'll see that there are some stairs in the corner. The stairs down oh. here lead to the stairs up here. Oh, that is that building up above? Like, yeah. Is that, is yeah, because I, I, I couldn't work out how to do um, layers. layers, basically. Okay. okay. What's this building? Are there... Are, are there... Are there what? Sorry, you cut out there for me. Say that again, please. Are, are there windows? Yes. Okay. Now, logistical question for an anti-magic field. Uh, so, is it interiors only? Like, absolute interiors? It's just the slight area around the building is the problem. So, the moment you enter the building, the moment you cross over that threshold, the entire building itself is anti-magic. Could he theoretically sit out on the side of on top of a windowsill? No, because there's no window sill. Okay. There's a window. Well, then that that, that <laughs> would be a problem. So then that's that's a no. <laughs> so no, uh, 
no, 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 uh, wow, I'm forgetting his name, no Seymour. Just no Seymour. Anything that requires magic will not work in this building. Yeah, no yeah, more. Yeah. yeah, I know, Dar, you're really happy that nothing's trying to gonna fucking snip your dick tonight. <laughs> This is ridiculous. I, I, I'm handing her. But yeah. soon. She hands you the key back. She says, I'm not sleeping in here. Okay. Where are you? Hold on. Dark. You're not over here, Dar. Yeah, Dar, uh, other corner of the room. I, no, I hear this. I'm just. No, you don't! I, I didn't you fucking know. tell you that you heard that! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How loud? How, 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 how That's fucking it! it. What, what That's it! Superman's greatest abilities is his super hearing! That's it! I'm taking your strength down again, motherfucker! If he's sitting on the other side of the room like, yeah! If you right. I thought conversations that were held quietly had to be rolled for stealth. No, but they're not quietly. I still would have asked. For him to have a perception check. Don't you fucking measure! If I see you fucking measuring, I am gonna take your fucking strength down. Sorry, sorry. I don't okay. know what the fuck just happened, but that was some Dar, crazy mic shit. The, a shadow, just step back and let the girls have a moment. Jesus. Oh, shadow, oh, shadow. Yeah. All I was gonna do was say, if you wanna try to hear them, roll a perception to see if you can hear them. <laughs> But okay, no, right, instead on. you're like, I heard perfectly, and I'm going to measure distance. Fuck off. No, <laughs> I just, I, I was going to do that. I <laughs> saw you. There's I footage didn't... of you measuring <laughs> the fucking distance. Because you were going to be a smart ass and be like, oh, it's 30 feet. Of course I can. <laughs> And you moved down, too, to make it 30 feet. Kara's uh, just writing the darlogs with the biggest smile on her face right now. Can I, can I work, work for perception? Yeah, you know what? Yes, you can. Thank you. Fuck, I got 15. You can't, you can't, because this is... Because this is, guess what, a bar situation where there's people talking, you you can't quite hear Wilk because you're a bit too far away. You can kind of hear the the vo you can hear you can pick up that the voices of Insira and Hera are talking, but over the sound of an actual bar, you can't quite hear exactly what they're saying. Kara, what, what, what if what if he rolled an Arcana check? No, <laughs> it, it oh, won't that's work that's because there's no magic in this building. There's oh, magic shit. somewhere in this world. Um. Kara, you can hear perfect. You, your elven senses. You hear the entire conversation. Yaxpa, you're too worried about the fact that you saw uh, your little friend just poof in the middle of this place. Your your mind's yeah. not on listening he's, to them. Yeah, but he's having a panic attack. Da, so da da, because you're an asshole, roll at disadvantage for me. I apologize, it was not intended to be asked. Roll again! Roll a disadvantage! Roll again, and we'll take the lowest number. Motherfucker. Uh, so just, 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 <laughs> Alright, so guess what? A 14 isn't fucking good enough. You can tell that they're talking, and you hear that they're talking, but you don't hear the words that they're saying. You can hear that Insira is talking to Hera, but you don't quite get exactly what they're saying. Okay, I'm gonna go back to talking to Hera before Darlogs continues. Yaxper uh, it... is, is, is envisioning, even though it didn't happen, Seymour just waving goodbye as he <laughs> incinerates. <laughs> I would back. now like fan art of Yaxper looking at uh, at Seymour and Seymour going, I don't feel so good, Mr. Yaxper. Oh, no. <laughs> as he fades away. As he does. Uh, as his eyes shoot out. <laughs> but yes, what would you like to say, Kate? She, she, she just uh, talks to her and she's just like, do you know where you want to sleep then? I'm I'm sleeping outside. I'm I'm not okay. staying in here with them. Uh, I get you. Do you want someone to come with you? No, no. I'm I'm fine. Do what you need to. I I know where you are. I will come and find you tomorrow. I I can't stay here. And she oh, I get you. Did, she did you say with them or with him? With them. 
Okay, I just want to make sure. Yeah, no, 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 no. I get I why, and that context is is important. But it's he said with them. I wouldn't want to stay with us either. <laughs> uh, she's just gonna nod and let Hera go, and then she's gonna make her way to her fucking room. I I I call bathroom first. Sure, I'll go last. Yeah, because you're probably gonna destroy it. By the bathroom. (laughs) (laughs) You're sitting in the bathroom right now, and Sarah. I don't give a shit. (laughs) Nerstein is just sitting in the bathroom. So that is the. So this is old fashioned. That is the bathroom. In the sense that it's the room where the bath is. And this is the actual lavatory. Where the lavatory is. Alright. This is what I want. I'm going to take a bath. You go in and you notice that there's a bath. There's no water. This is the bath. Where do I get the and water? And there will never bed? be water again. I don't know. Where would, where would you want in an establishment if you wanted a bath? Who oh. would you? <laughs> yeah. Can I go down to the bartender or something yeah. for it? Yeah. Uh, what? I where, go back where, down. where is there like an in a a location with a mirror? Uh, that would be the la- uh the, the bathroom itself against this wall here would have a a, right. a mirror on it. Uh, he goes to like he goes to like wash up and in the mirror as he looks up. You gotta get water <laughs> too, fucker. That's fine. He looks up and he sees he sees his crab for a moment going, "You killed me." <laughs> <laughs> and and Sarah's just gonna ask the bartender how much for water. Uh, that'll be one yeah, silver, that. please. I will give him the one silver. And he goes, Brother! Brother! And then another dwarf pops his head around. He goes, Aye, what's wrong? Like, oh, could you do some water for the tiefling? And he's like, Oh, okay. Uh, you want it like super hot or just people, people warm? Super hot, please. Super hot it is. I'll be up in a boot 15 minutes. Takes Thank a while to much. warm up. Um, okay, how much silver is in a gold piece? I believe yeah. it's 10, yeah. <laughs> okay. So Do you have, wait, no, 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 no. Do you have any silver? I don't, uh, is it? No. Is the silver above the bronze one? Yes, it's above copper. Oh, okay. Okay, then yeah, I do. Okay, okay. because like I say, you, if mind. not, you're going to have to give him a gold piece and he might give you change. Okay, there we go. I love the might. Yeah, he might. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go back up and wait for the water. So, just rip it off. I want to see if something works because an interesting thing might happen if I can do it. Right. I, I love the fact that Caitlin goes back upstairs to wait for the for the water as if she's standing guard in front of the bathroom. Right, so... No, I just want to take that. So, while you're looking in the mirror, Yuck, every... Oh, yeah. uh, after a second, this face appears. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome to Chili's. Now, you... <laughs> Now, this is too many videos in a row, I don't like this! You recognize the picture, he goes, No, Yuck's it's me! Wait. It's the Seeker! It's your god! Oh! Oh, don't do that to me! I just, had a, I just had one flashback after another, oh god! You were, oh. you were calling me before and everything, and I was busy, and oh, yeah. I figured I would check in on you. Are you, are you in a bathroom? Yeah, it's just... I don't know. Oh, oh, it's been a weird, it's been a weird couple hours, man. Oh, huh. is, Hi. is everything uh, okay? Uh, so, I mean, Seymour kind of evaporated when I walked into this place. It was very traumatic. Yeah, he came back here, well, like he always does. He, he's right I know, here. But I know, I know, I know he's okay. I'm not stupid. It's just, it just happened really fast. Okay. <laughs> What's that? I'm, I'm, hold on! I'm, I'm, no, no, hold on! No, he's he, he's leaning down. He's like he's listening to <laughs> to Seymour. <laughs> Why are you asking him to snip people's penises off? Oh, I've taught him so well. <laughs> oh, oh, 
Did I? I feel like I should call the protective services about this. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really just one person in specific. Don't worry. Don't. I, just... I, 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 I think. Don't. I might have to talk to him about that. Don't... I might have to talk to him about that. Please don't ask one of my minions to clip people's penises off. <laughs> it's not that I asked. It's something of an inclination he seems to have developed on his own. Hold on. No, he's telling me you mentally asked him to slip the penis off, as if you were somehow controlling oh, him. Oh, did, oh, did I? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I might have. Oh, there's been a lot going on right now, man. <laughs> I forget something. Okay, well... Uh, if, if, we'll, we'll have a talk. We'll if, have a talk. If, if you need me, contact me. Um, I'm going to go and speak to Seymour about some things. No, 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 he won't make you touch any more penises. <laughs> he just fades away like he's forgotten to hang up the phone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, that's his uh... dick and ass. <sighs> yeah, yeah, he, he turns around, he's got his house coat on, but the, there's no bottom. <laughs> the cloak with a flap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a lot more than I bargained for. <laughs> Very but sculpted though. <laughs> very, well, very well sculpted though. <laughs> but yes, that 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 was your god talking to you through the mirror. I thought that'd be a fun little thing. I I, I you, you fucking scared the shit out of me with that fucking I, 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 token. The worst part is, you know, we spoke I, about I, what your god looks like I'm and a just fucking <laughs> grim reaper had entered the story. <laughs> Yorkspur, your time uh, has come. Time to make a new character. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's just a character creator right there. <laughs> just, just waiting to ask, what are you? And then he cuts a character creation screen. Right. So I like, I like to think he had that on to scare me, and then he pulled his mask off. He's like, ah, oh, it sucks in there. Right. So, what <laughs> does everyone want to do? So, Yuxper, you were in the bathroom. Are you staying in there? As Insira has no, made her way back upstairs. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna walk back outside and be like, well, that was a lot. <laughs> I, I wouldn't go in there for at least 30 or 40 minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah. 90 tops. I walk by and Sarah, and as I walk by and Sarah to uh, this direction, I'm just like, if you see any crazy visions in the mirror, don't worry. It seems to be semi normal. And then he walks away. I'm just gonna be like, I'm just gonna take a bath. I'm just gonna take a fucking bath. Yaxbert did not, while he was in the bathroom, he did like, not flush. Take, take, yeah, well, he, I don't think he used the toilet. But, no, he did not. Uh, he did, definitely did not take stock of who entered what room, so he's just gonna start entering room. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Oh, this one's taken. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, I mean, I mean, it's it's one it's one person per. But thank you very much. I'll go. I'll just go this way. <laughs> Maybe this one. Hello. Oh God, damn it! No, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Ronda, Ronda. <laughs> now, what you should have done is you should have <laughs> gone in there and made him leave. <laughs> Get out of my room, mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh hello. What uh wants googly eyes center on <laughs> on Yaxper and he uncoils his entire physical existence <laughs> and as he zips around the room like a an anaconda in front of Yaxper and says, Get out. <laughs> that's, 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 that's really fucking terrifying, holy shit. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, like, I gotta wash my brain after that. <laughs> this day is just a cavalcade of visual eccentricity. Oh. Get out of my room. <laughs> 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 okay. Hey, uh, get out of- oh, 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 there's no one in- the, oh, there's no one in this one. Um. I guess this one. As, as time has passed, you see that the, the- the kitchen dwarf, one of the two Barrowton brothers, um, comes up and he's holding two big buckets of water. You can see that it's steaming. 
You can see that. I'm, the so, I'm, I'm sorry. That fucking mental image of fucking Will Con coiling is like super vivid in my brain. It's fucking terrifying. That was what. That was what. Even better. So, oh, the, the dwarf is pulling these big buckets. You can see it's steaming. It's so hot. I'm gonna open the door for him. It's so hot that the area on his arm where the steam is going up, you can see it's bright red. He oh, shit. comes in, and you can see he very relieved puts down one bu uh, one bucket, pours one into the bath. It fills it about halfway through, leaves the bucket there, grabs the next bucket, pushes that in, fills it about almost three quarters of the way full. So when you get in, it will be a full bath. But at the moment, it's just not quite to the edge. And he goes, "Hey, uh, well, there you go." Uh, if you uh if you want any more, uh, uh my brother will charge you. Uh so maybe try and make the most of what you got there. Much. If uh you or any of your pals uh want any food or any drink, just uh come and let us know and uh well uh he'll charge you, but uh it's better than nothing. Thank you. And he makes his way. And she's going to take a bath. Downstairs. At last. Does what? she lock the door? Yeah, she's locking the fucking door. She does not trust Star. It has a like a hatch lock. Or Wilk. Oh, I mean Walt. <laughs> it has like a hatch lock on the other side. So you can lock it from the inside, but not from the outside. So you can successfully pull the hatch <laughs> and lock it. Oh, don't lock me in. She's just gonna soak in the tub for a while. So, is there anything anyone would like to do? Uh, this time it is getting late. It is about eight, nine o'clock in the evening now. Um, so, is there anything that you would like to specifically do? Or will we count this as our nice long rest and take it to the next morning? Uh, I'm taking out the, the book that I got from Gaul and I'm looking it over. Uh, the notebook that he gave you? Yes. It's, um, tell you what, roll me either an arcana check or, I'm going to be really weird, an arcana check or a medicine check. Whichever one is higher for you, you can roll. Uh, they're both the same, so I will go with the weird one and I'll go medicine. Okay. So it's not quite making sense. Like you're trying to think, you're trying to think of this from a biological point of view, from what you know about bodies and how they work, and it's not making sense to you from that point of view because it's talking about allowing bodies to reanimate without blood, and you're thinking, well, how does that work? Like if the body is getting back up again, it needs blood to circulate the blood, the body. How is it possible for a body to? get back up without blood it's not quite you don't gain any new information you get a bit puzzled you even get a little bit frustrated um because you haven't quite got what it's trying to say but you do get the idea that maybe you might want to look at this from a different standpoint okay uh after a, a little while of, of looking through it and getting frustrated from looking at it from that standpoint i do put the book away okay um would anyone else like to do anything else? Um, Dar would like to go downstairs and pay for his bath water. Um, his game, his game or girl bath water. So I have a, I have a question though. So, uh, Caitlin, how long does Nsira take in the bath? She's gonna take until the water is fucking cold. Uh, this is piping hot water. Uh, for you, it's totally fine. It's actually it's lovely and relaxing because you come from a very hot place. And you are naturally very warm-blooded because of having part tiefling. So it feels amazing to you. To If anyone else had went in this, they would probably be in serious levels of pain. But because it's you and your physiology is as it is, especially with the orc in there as well, it's fucking relaxing. It's like a, a, a lovely steam bath. Um, it will take about, because of just how piping hot it is, it's going to take at least an hour for it to start to mellow down. If you want it, if you want to know how long it will take from 
how it is now to actually it feeling cold to you. It's going to take about an hour and a half, hour 45 I'll stay minutes. stay in there an hour and 45. Okay, so... Just relaxing. You've had your lovely relaxing bath, you've had your hour and 45 minutes just washing, relaxing and thinking nothing and just letting yourself relax. Uh, you do feel relaxed now. Um, what do you do? So you've, you've had your lovely relaxing bath, you obviously get out and probably put clothing back on, but what do you do next? Uh, then I'll go to my room and anyone else who can ha- wants it can have it. Okay, so uh, Da, what do you do now? I go downstairs to the barkeep mm-hmm. <clears throat> and ask um, how much for uh, bath water? And I know, no, because... To buy bath water? Well, we don't sell people's bath water. That's a bit weird. And he snickered. He, like, he laughs at himself because he knows he's made a joke. And he goes, uh, well, um, mm, you know what? I normally charge... If you want my bath water, subscribe to my OnlyFans. I normally charge a bit much, but for you, I'll do it for a gold. Er... Uh, Sure. <laughs> All right, mate. Put your gold on the table. I take my one gold out. Uh, you got any cider or mead? Uh, yeah. Uh, my brother can uh, get you some. Uh, uh can get you some uh, fresh cider. Uh, that'll cost you. Uh, how much you want? Just one. One what, buddy? One cider, one 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 stein. Sorry. Yeah, there you go. See, okay, one stein. Uh, give me a silver, and I'll give you the good stuff. All right, two gold. No, I said one gold for the water and two silver for the cider. How did we fuck up paying? <laughs> you don't have change. Yeah, okay, buddy, don't worry about it. I'll take the two gold. Here's your cider. And he takes the cider out and he puts it on the table. And he goes, there you go. My brother will be up with the bath water in a moment. Thank you. Um, he doesn't give you... He, he, he doesn't... At the economic process. He doesn't give you any change. He just takes the two gold. Oh, I knew it was. Okay. Kidding. Okay. Just <laughs> um, does he need help carrying any? Uh, the brother pops his head around and he goes... Oh, another one want a bath. Or oh, uh, yeah. how how warm you want it? Normal people warm. And then he look he, he he looks at he, he looks at his brother and they shadow. He looks he looks at the other brother and they go to Chuck and goes, oh, okay, don't worry. Uh, if you go up there, uh, uh, wait outside and I'll be up there in a boot. Uh, uh, give me five minutes. Okay. You just fill it with lava. <laughs> Thank you. You just said I'm from Evergreen. They should have brought it up. Ice cold. <laughs> <laughs> so do you go up? You go upstairs and you wait outside the bathroom. Yes. Okay. It's just a tub of tomato sauce. <laughs> oh gosh! Oh gosh! Mouse, don't do this to me. There we go. It's like guards okay. drunk. So like yeah, five minutes do go by. And he, he comes up and he's carrying two huge buckets of water and you see that he's struggling. And he's like, oh, 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 oh thank you. I opened the door for him. Thank you. He goes in and he shuts the door and you hear a clank of a lock. And he goes over and he looks at the bath water and he, he puts his elbow in it. And then you didn't fucking realize, but the two buckets he was carrying were fucking completely empty. And he just... Uh, <laughs> Slashes the bath water around a minute, and he comes back out, and he looks very relieved. And he's holding two empty buckets. He goes, "There you go, pal. Water's in there for you." Okay. Make a perception. Check. No, 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 no perception checks. As far as you know, this man came up and had two buckets, and you didn't check if they were full. You didn't check if there were bath water in there before. I just opened the door and stepped to the side, just stepped on my drink. This that's bathtub it. is filled with mayo. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> the Barrington brothers. Shysters that make you pay a gold for water that's already been bathed in. <laughs> oh. That, this actually makes me upset, because that fucking <laughs> does. Oh. Wait, wait, this... <sighs> the bathwater that bonds us. I'm, uh, I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm interested to listen because I've laid a, a big trap here, so I'm interested to hear what Dar does. <laughs> Dar looks at oh, this and God, just. Don't tell him that. Like, uh, fucking hell. Fine. I will just. Blow with them no, 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 no! <laughs> what do you mean, fucking hell fine? You know nothing about that bathwater. You don't know that bathwater has been already used. I don't. You I don't. don't. Okay. You don't, you don't know damn shit. It. You don't. Uh, you know nothing. Would it feel cold to him, though? No, no, no. Like, no, no, no. Would I be able to not see steam coming off of it? No, but you asked for normal. You you asked for normal people. Warm, yeah. You yeah, did. You said normal people warm. Yeah. Yeah, which means <laughs> fucking <laughs> anything in a world where there are a bunch of different races. Yeah. It's almost as if you could have word things specifically. <laughs> It's oh god, dude! Don't use the phrasing that you use was wildly racist, actually. <laughs> uh, normal people warm. <laughs> god damn it! Would you like to check and see how the how the buff is? You got white person spicy. <laughs> <laughs> you got you got sriracha hot it. bath water. Uh, Dar dips his whole uh, head hand in, his whole left hand in there. It's not ice cold. It's not ice cold. It's not like completely cold, but it's not like very warm. It's like it, it, it's just a bit. It's a bit of a chillier bath. It's still got a little bit of warmth to it. You know the warmth that might be generated by someone's body. <laughs> <laughs> This is how we lay a trap, uh, everyone. Yeah. Uh, we can't uh, separate our bonds. Uh, Not the while this is going on, I go downstairs. Okay. Shit. Um. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> you are too buff. <laughs> also, also, this action is going to is going to be processed in seconds right now because it's going to make it. Dar's going to get in there, or, or so bad. I, I've set you up because I've put you in a position where, hey Shadow, you like to kind of meta game sometimes, and I put you in a position where you can't fucking meta game this. Get in the fucking yeah, bath. Yeah. <laughs> get in the I am. I am. <laughs> Dark gets in. Oh! There we go, boys! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> get the fuck so all are one. Okay. Dark okay. Dar doesn't get why, but on some level he's aroused. <laughs> no. How's that, how's that bath, Dar? Not to my liking. It's a salty. Hold on. Uh, and Sarah's gonna, like, knock on, go back and knock on the door, and she's gonna be like, Hey, did I leave uh, a piece of cloth in there? I'm looking for it. What? It should be on the banister over there. I'll give it to you when I get out. Uh, real quick, you made sure they emptied the bath, right? You didn't before you left It's the not my job to. Oh my god, you're disgusting! <laughs> and she like pieces it together and she goes. Right, do me a favor. Do me a favor. Roll me a wisdom check. Yeah, wait, yeah, wait was that was oh, yeah, was that uh, Yeah, just roll me a wisdom check because I want to see if you can put two and two together for this. Oh please, Lord, did, please. Did, Lord. Did, did, oh, okay, well if you succeed that, didn't Sarah shout that? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. You can. It would be like a ten. You could put. You could put two and two together that he is in okay. your bar for. Oh, uh, okay. Here's the thing. I know for a fact Jack's bar is in the room next door because I heard. I, I I saw him go in before I went in. Roll a perception. I'm gonna knock. Well, well, I saw. I saw him go in. No, no, no. I was gonna say if if, if Jack's were going to hear that, he could well, roll no, a perception. Go you you could have. Go you could have also been loud. Yeah. Okay. Go to this gone, yeah. She's gonna knock yeah. on Yaxbar's room. Yaxbar! Eh! 
It, Fucking Dara's no, breathing no. in my bath water. God Somebody damn. make him stop. Whoa, oh, wait, what? I got <laughs> just the worst <laughs> Hold on. Fucking... What? <laughs> Dar just gets out, towels off. Fucking hell. I mean, I, 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 I know he has a lot of winter pants, but I didn't know he was into that. Shut up to both of you. Yeah. Wait, did, did, did he? Hmm. Hmm. I didn't oh. know. Yeah. Jesus. You didn't like. How did you not know? Didn't How you go you in not... there? Is it... No, I thought you would emptied it out. I just asked the guy to fill it back work up. I don't here. You. No... Why would she empty the tub? That's not her job. And she goes back to her room just like. Keep the fuck out. Yasper is just so utterly baffled and confused. <laughs> uh, but she will stick her head back and she'll be like, Yaxbar, when Seymour comes back, have him fuck a cu fucking cut an ear off, this bastard. Why my ear? It's always an option. Would uh, you rather I say penis? So, uh. Why anything? No physical assault! So, we're it's going. We're going to move over to Nerestine because Nerestine went down to the bar. But I'm just going to quickly run to the restroom, and then I'll be right back, and we'll take over from Nerestine in the bar. So get get all yeah. your oh my god, da fucking bath water out of out of your systems. <laughs> yeah, like it's I didn't like bath, you before. Bath. It's only growing by the second. This did not Shut help. Shadow, I have a I have a really real question for you that, oh, that no. Sam yeah. and I stumbled upon last night. Oh. Speaking of Sam, Sam, are you still here? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, just want to make sure, because you've been quiet for a little while. Oh, yeah. So I just want to make sure. Why the fuck did you not take Oath of Ancients? Because that's what you were originally going to go, and then you suddenly changed to Oath of Devotion. Because I thought Ancients seemed harder than Devotion. Boy, were you wrong. But literally, Oath of Ancients was the nature-based oath, the nature-based build that you so desperately wanted to have. I... Hindsight? Eh. Right, I, I have just, returned. I want to strangle you. Right, I have returned. I what do, I, so, I do myself sometimes. What did I miss? I feel like I missed something. <laughs> so, Sam and I were talking last night, uh -huh. and we we were talking about Shadow and just his shadowness. Oh yeah, good topic. Yeah, mm -hmm. and like yeah. I had re I had remembered that Shadow had originally wanted to. Was this to after go I left or before? I, while I was there. Way after you left. Way this after. Was after Caitlin okay. Left. okay. Okay. Mm. Uh, he had originally wanted to go Oath of the Ancients, and then suddenly swapped to Oath of Devotion. Yeah, because I remember that. Because I remember him talking about Oath of the Ancients, because it's it's very the land, nature, all that kind of stuff. Super nature based. Yeah. And like, and I I had forgotten all about it until just last night, and I was so confused as to why he would switched off of it. To just a super generic oath of devotion, which goes completely against his entire character. Yeah, I was a bit confused by that as well. So I was I was wanting to hopefully find out why, and much like Sam and I thought, the answer was going to be extremely disappointing. Good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah we talking about that. It's like, do you want to, to know the answer? <laughs> yeah. Dar Towels off, gets dressed, chugs down his drink. I wonder how many bottles of Insira's bath water he's. Are you for so? Later. Wait, 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 wait! Hold on, hold on, oh. hold on. Important, important question. When you say you chug it down, you're like gulp, 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 gulp. <laughs> yes. Roll me a Constitution saving throw. Oh boy. Oh boy. Now it's only cider, so you should be fine. Uh, oh, normal. Just a no yes, just yeah. a normal constitution saving throw. <laughs> this, this is a mean roll. Yeah, you're okay. You're okay. You're a little bit. You get a little bit tipsy, 
Uh, but it, it, it's not that you're tipsy for long. It's that slight tipsiness you get when you drink too quickly because you you did drink it too quickly. He goes back downstairs to return the stein. Here. Uh... Aye, how was your bath? Can I stick my foot out to see if I can trip him as he comes by? <laughs> uh, I'm going to say no on yeah. this occasion. Aww. I'll be more specific with what I ask for next time with it. I... Will what? Will you? What? I don't understand, buddy. Did you... The left... You left my friend's water in there. You didn't actually... She ain't your friend. I'm you are, sorry! Are you, accusing, are you accusing him of fraud? I'm sorry! Do you want to fucking say that again? And then he, oh, you no. see that he's reaching for something <laughs> underneath <laughs> the, the bar. Oh, great, great. Are you trying to accuse me? A, you, a stranger, who's just walked in here, are trying to do you a money, pal? No, no, sorry. <laughs> Simply mistaken. <clears throat> Sorry. What the fuck was that? Did you did you just fucking attempt my accent? Oh, God, back to my room. You have a good night. See you in the morning in Central. Uh, Sorry, no, there's the No, that's emotional contagion. And then he looks he looks at he looks at the dwarf that's like sitting on the other side. And he goes, Do you fucking believe him? Oh, sorry. What's your noise policy? SHUT THE FUCK UP! HOW ABOUT THAT?! <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> the, the, the added layer that he actually totally did it is just the best. <laughs> Can you fucking believe that? He has the cheek to come in my place and fucking say that I've been recycling bath water. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He looks at you. He looks at you, Nerstein. Okay, what can I do for you? Do you want a bath as well? Yeah, but I want to make sure the water is actually emptied, and I want to. I want. I want it drow hot. What the I fuck is drew hot? I know. What, know what that means? I'm not fucking stupid. I don't know what the fuck drew hot hot is. Do you think we have many drew? Because what's through here? You know exactly what it's like to be under the ground. You know how hot it gets under there. Just say fucking hot then. You don't need to bring race into it. Just say hot. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Shadow? You're the one that's trying to fucking copy the accent. I can't fucking believe you had the gall to do it. First of all, you had the gall to fucking call him out. And then the secondly, you thought, oh yeah, I'll, I'll make this better by just um, trying to replicate the way the guy speaks. Like, that's going to make this better. Oh, <laughs> that was incredible. Uh, all right. I, it's, a, it's a triple whammy of stupidity. All right, I get it. You want it hooked. Okay. And, and he shouts, brother! And his brother comes out and goes, Oh, let me guess. They want a fucking bath now, too. Yes, yes. Hoot. Yes, they want, yes, they want a fucking bath, too. I was like, okay, okay. Do you want me to... I'll let go empty out the other water. And as he walks away, his brother starts saying, They want it hoot! Where, where are Hoot and Flurik again? They are staying in the uh, trading wagon because they didn't. They remember they for the last month have been out and about and are a little bit more wanted than you guys. So they have decided to perhaps uh, stay out of sight for a little bit just to make sure. Got it. The uh, barkeeper looks at you, Nerstein, and says, "While he empties it and gets the uh, hot water for you, do you want a drink?" No, oh, I just want to pay, and I want to go back upstairs to make sure it's actually emptied. All right, well, uh, one silver, please. Okay, I give him the one silver. All right, and he takes it and stashes it away. And he goes, are you going to just stand there for the five minutes it's going to take, or...? Uh, I'm going back upstairs. All right. I go back upstairs, and I actually move into the bathroom. Actually, I checked to see if the door is locked or not. The door is unlocked. Okay. 
I go in and I'm standing off to the side just you... to make sure he's actually unloading the water. Yeah, when you get in there, the first thing you say is that he's, he's using buckets and he's got several buckets of water that's been used and he's putting them to the side and then he's pointing out to you, those are the ones that have been used. Uh, I'm going to go get you some actual fresh water. And he leaves. And then sure enough, just for the, the matter of timekeeping, about five, ten minutes later, he comes back up. He's carrying two more new buckets. These are not quite as hot as in Sierra's. They're not actually almost scalding his arm just from the steam. But it is steaming enough that you could tell that it's, it's very warm. Uh, he then pours them into the bath. And he goes, well, there you go. That's your, uh, your bath water. Let us know when it's done so we can actually empty it. And uh, yep. as as he leaves, he's taking uh, two of the buckets from of the previous water with him. Okay. As as that guy's walking away, <laughs> Dexper walks up to his door and asks, "You decide if that guy's still in the hallway or not." No, nah, he's already. And he just asks, us. and he just asks Star. So why did you decide to bathe in her bathwater? <laughs> just pokes his head in. Why did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just I I don't I I'm a little like you know unclear on certain customs, but like what what's up with that? Is that like a thing? <laughs> what does Dar say to being questioned about this incident? <laughs> what is your obsession with my sex life? No, it wasn't intentional. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Now this is a sex thing. <laughs> Well, now I'm thinking things that I wasn't thinking before. Are you just a, are you a squirrel on drugs or something with your mind? What? <laughs> what's a squirrel? Yeah, yeah, wait, hold on. That's a good question. Hey, Hex, yeah. what's a squirrel? Uh, a squirrel is, that... a squirrel is a small woodland creature. Well, Does no, it exist? What, what I mean is... Him being in the red sands and in a an oasis, how would he know? Oh no, he's he's been around here enough that he knows what a squirrel is. I'm not gonna be that mean. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Well, so on that front, we're good. Yeah. I, I'm just asking questions, man. You ask a lot of questions for someone. Yeah, that's kind of my whole job. <laughs> Listen, it's been a rough now. What has been a shock to me three months. I would like to get a decent night's rest. I had a sure. bath spoiled because I didn't okay. do hubris of my speaking properly. That's fair. That's fair. So, please kindly please. Me the con- but please explain the connection to me of the bath water to, to a creepy sex thing. I, 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 it's <laughs> not. Let you're me the one who said it. You're, you're the one who said it. Sleep. You're the one who said it. <laughs> Dar just comes to open door. just comes to open the door. Listen. Okay, we'll talk about it tomorrow when everyone's around. Then. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a, there's a phrase called digging your own grave, and you do it a lot. <laughs> Dar just finished sharpening his axe and goes to fucking sleep. Uh, what are you sharpening your axe with? Oh god, I didn't carry the whistle with me. Fuck. Okay, never mind. A beer bottle. <laughs> oh god. My hand! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's just cutting his hand on it. <laughs> yeah, good <laughs> job! I'm so metal. <laughs> right. Nerestine, how long do you bathe for? Uh, after about 45 minutes of cleaning up and everything, I get out and dry off and get dressed do you uh inform the people downstairs that you are done or do you just leave it uh yeah i i I go down and i inform them that i'm done and it can be emptied whenever yep the 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 brothers will talk amongst themselves and they'll go up and uh, they'll uh they'll empty the bar for it is now roughly about 11 11 30 um right I've what? got this mental image in my head of Dar sneaking into Wilk's room to use him as a whetstone while he's asleep. <laughs> oh, as a whetstone! Oh, okay, I thought you were going to say something much worse, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> he's a sock! That's all I'm going to say. That's the first 
thing I thought too. Was <laughs> car sneaking into Wilkes' room. That was the first thing that popped. <laughs> no, it wasn't even that. It was when he said the and use. I was like, oh no. <laughs> By the way, she's gonna make sure her fucking room is locked because she's so skewed by Dar. That's fair. The, 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 so Dar gets up and locks his door. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, lock that shit. You can lock them from the inside and the outside on these doors, but you can they can only be locked by the key that you have. Well, I decided not to lock the door because he wants someone to try. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Fucking try! Damn. <laughs> I'm gonna try. <laughs> I I knock on the door. I, 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 the, I, the music stopped at that moment, and it felt like a music stops moment. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, let, I let Wilk know that it's me, and that I'm coming in. Watt wakes up Wilk. Wilk's like, oh! Oh, jeez, I'm sorry, I was just dreaming about puking after puking so much. <laughs> Hello. What you ring about? What about Hello. Uh, I took this off of Malcolm when we were chasing him down, and I wanted to I wanted to give it to someone that I thought could actually use it, and I give. I give Wilk that drow charm. Okay. All right. Okay. So um, you have a drow charm. You can add that into your equipment just as drow charm. And yeah, it's a necklace. I will, uh, should it ever be needed, I will let you know exactly what it does. Okay. It's in there. Do you wear it or do you just take it? Do you actually put it on? Um... If I be suspicious, you just start wearing it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take it. I'll just take it. Okay. Oh no. And you then put I, it I head out back to my room and I lock my door. Okay. Wait, 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 no, wait, before oh. one one actually one one actually asks a question. And one says, What are you? Be more specific. Character what, development. What exactly are you? You're hiding something. So before you leave, let me ask you this. What is your darkest secret? Ah, <gasps> uh, <laughs> shit. Um, do me a favor. Uh, Sam, roll a persuasion yes. roll. Okay. Oh shit. Well, bam. Not very nope. good. Oh, <laughs> He's not very, very persuasive. That, that, that was no, a very no, that was no. that was a very Xbox Connect wabam moment. <laughs> so so um, uh, uh, Juan signed the mood to try and persuade, so he tries to persuade Wilk to tell to ask Nerstein, and it doesn't go. So he still has tried, so it is up to Takara to decide what Neurostein does. But you personally, Neurostein, would feel that he's not being very persuasive. He's just out and out asked you your darkest secret, which doesn't exactly make you want to tell him your darkest secret. But what you do is up to you. My deepest darkest secret is that I have always viewed what this is that I go through as a curse a lot of people depending on who they are in the in the drow world will consider it a blessing based on what cast they are in but I view it as a curse, and that, to me, is a terrible thing. And I blame Lolf for that, because she is meant to be our 
our God. She's meant to watch over us. She's meant to be someone who who leads us, protects us, and she, to me, allowed this thing to happen. She allowed another God's wish affect her people. And I, I cannot forgive her for allowing that to happen. I see. Well, you're at least better than the High Elves. Well, to be fair, whatever elves were stupid enough to to go to Evergreen are better than the High Elves. Well, that's true, but there's one thing about elves that I never thought was accurate, and that is they're honest. But you've proven to me that you're honest, so whatever happens from here on out, I'll watch your back. Well, I did, pro- I did promise you that I would answer one question you had truthfully. And I need a confirmation that you weren't stereotyped. That is all. I try not to be stereotypical and use racist accents. My accent is not racist. Well, my accent is no, not racist. No, is that... I, I am referring well, to... Well, please! It's, it's, it's racist to me, because you're always so demeaning. And they start squabbling. Right, nearest well, thing. What? Do you have inspiration? Uh, yes. Oh, okay, I was going to give you inspiration for that, but if you got inspiration, you really got it. Okay. As they squabble, I, I leave, and I head back to my room, and I make sure the door is locked before heading to the bed to take my trance. Right, okay, so, everyone, you now yeah. have... Oh, God. I was going to say, before she goes to sleep, and Sierra's just going to look at her shield... That has the holy symbol on it. Mm-hmm. Just stare at it for a while before turning it around and muttering fucking bullshit and crawling into bed and falling asleep. Okay. Well, with that lovely bit of development from multiple people, you all get a long rest. Please revert all your health to to normal. If you spend any uh, spell slots, please get all your spell slots back. Um, you get all of your stuff back. So spell slots. Um, any maneuver dice, uh, all that jazz, uh, ch- uh, divine. Hit dice. Yeah, hit dice. You 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 get half of your max back. So What's my max again? right, you guys are, I believe, level six is now, aren't you? Um. Uh yes. Yeah. yeah so level six. You get three hit dice back. So if you only had three left. Before the long rest, you would gain three, and you would now be back up to six. Um, oh, if, I didn't use any last session. So then mind. you're already on six. That's six, yeah. Uh, and your health goes back up, all that jazz. Right. So you all go to sleep. And you all, without knowing it, have a common dream. And the common dream that you all experience is the whispering voice of a woman that you don't know but you can't make out what she is saying so caitlin do you know the language celestial give me one second here i believe i do yes i do ha <laughs> so you hear a voice telling you to follow the book that the book will provide you the answers and that every page has yet to be written Yaxper do you know Primordial oh jeez let me roll this thing down I don't believe so Uh, let's see that is not one of my three. I might if I rolled comprehend, but that's no. Not you're asleep. Now. You're asleep. You yeah, do not know. All you know is that in your in your slumber, in your little 
Betty by sleep. A strange feminine voice speaks to you in a strange language that you do not understand. So even though Yoxper wouldn't know this, um, it's a different language for Yoxper than it is for for Nerestine? Or yes. Not Nerestine, uh, uh, Sarah? For Insira, yes, it's a completely different language. Right. Okay. Da. Do you know Abyssal? No, only Elvish Orc in common. It same thing happens is in your sleep you hear a female voice and it's speaking this guttural, almost hard Celtic kind of language, but you don't understand a word of it. Wilk Do you know Dwarvish? Huh? Nope. You have the exact same thing. You have a, a you're asleep, and there's a dream, and there's a female voice speaking to you, but you can't quite understand what it's saying. You probably have met a dwarf before, and uh, I've heard them speak dwarvish, so you might be able to put two and two together and understand that maybe it's dwarvish you're listening to, but you don't understand what it says. Um, I know Kara just said one sec, so. Um, I'll wait for Kara to come back before I ask. Well, while we're waiting, I'm gonna go use the restroom. Real quick. Yes, same. <gasps> Hex, earlier today I had a moment where I, 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 I thought of a name, and I don't think I'll say it here now. Okay. But I, I, I was, I was like, I was shit posting like about a name for Sharkman. Oh for yeah. The other campaign. Oh yeah. And I, and I said one out loud to myself in a very, like, this is a stupid name way. And then for the next ten minutes, I was like, but it's so good. But it's no, so it's stupid. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know what? I'm actually going to type it to you right now. Well, I mean, like, the name of the species is dumb itself. It's literally the scientific name for shark and the scientific name for people stuffed together, so... How do, you, how do you feel about that name? Let me have a look, because I just saw it. Okay, that's good. That's a good name. I feel like that would be... I feel like that would be a Salo Sapien name. I feel like that works. Um, I, I like, like, it hit me, and I'm like, that's stupid. Wait. No, I think that works, honestly. <laughs> Hold on. Um, you got something. Right, so, Kara. Do you know the language Infernal? No. Then you do not understand what the woman says, but as the same as everyone else, you have a dream, and in that dream there is a female voice speaking to you. You can understand that it's a female voice, but you cannot understand what it's saying. It's speaking a very harsh, but almost whispery at the same time, language. Um, I don't think you've ever heard someone talk that language, so you can't quite put two and two together what it is. Congratulations, it's morning. You have all had your nice long rest. You've got everything back. What do you do now? I get up. I start to gather my supplies. Like, I already back. had my stuff packed mm -hmm. up as it was. I just like gathering my pack and my, my weapons and whatnot and... I make my way to the door and I unlock it and I slip the key into my pack as well mm -hmm. and I make my way downstairs and I stop near the stairs and just look around to see if if anyone else has made it downstairs yet or not. Nope, you'll see that no one else is downstairs. Um, you'll see that there are some different faces in the bar. Uh, there weren't some people in there that you remember from last night, but there are some faces that you don't you don't quite know if they've been there all night or if maybe they just regulars that come back in here. But um, you can tell that there are some people that you remember from seeing last night. Okay. Said in near a steam stream. Sorry. What? What was said near a steam stream? You, they uh, don't know because they don't speak don't... infernal. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I was the only one who understood the dream. Yeah. Gotcha. If everyone now uh, on your leisure, you can choose to come downstairs and uh, we can take it from there. 
It's uh, like my way over to the bar. This dwarf leaves. And Sierra's gonna like pack up most Did of his stuff. Did he leave because on. he saw me? No, no, no. He was leaving. He was. You could tell he was finishing up his breakfast when you came downstairs. Okay. And Sierra's gonna pack up her stuff, make sure everything's there, like the book, the bit of food and such she keeps on her, and mm -hmm. then go downstairs. Okay. Everything's still there, right? <laughs> yep, everything's still there. Right, uh, we'll just get everyone downstairs, and then we'll we'll take you from there. So, right, next person up, uh, I will say is you, Yaxpa. Yaxpa, what do you do? You've woken up, uh, you had that weird dream. Uh, what do you do from here? Well, that was fucking weird. So I'm going to walk away, walk downstairs, see what happened. Okay. As I attempt to grab the token. Um, right, Da, you've woken up, you had that very strange dream, what do you do? Hey, still sleeping. Nothing. Not wake up. He, he, he thinks he's... He, 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 I thought he stepped away too. I thought oh, he said he? he was back. I am, oh. I just got back. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you, you had that dream, you've woken up, some people have gone downstairs, what do you do? You don't know they've gone downstairs, you yourself just know that you've woken up. And I you know up. it's morning. I get up, I stretch, do a few push-ups, and do I have to do a strength check? I want you to, how many push-ups are you doing? I do 30. Uh, do me three athletics checks. Three athletics One after the other. <laughs> first one's re your, your, your first ten really good. Yeah, you 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 kind of your first ten are like, oh, these are really good. You get them through really done work quickly. Second ten, second set of ten, you, you're slowing down a little bit, uh, but you're still getting it done. Your your last set of ten. You'll notice your arms are getting a little bit tired at this point. Maybe that's why you only do 30, because you feel that your arms are getting a little bit tired and you don't want to push it too much. But um, you do your last you do your last, uh, last 10 and, and you're good. You have no ill effects. You haven't gained any exhaustion or anything. You did well enough to that you were, you were good. You had a good morning wake-up kind of routine. Yeah. All right. What, I unlock my door, then I go downstairs. Are you taking your stuff with you? Uh, yes. Okay, wonderful. Right. Wilk, you now awake. Yeah. What do you do? I am. I go downstairs. Mm -hmm. I stretch and do a big yawn and say, Oh, man, it sucked after throwing up for almost 24 hours, but I'm back and better than ever. And then, um, he asks, uh, uh, he goes over to bartender and says, One big glossy round of apple juice, sir. Uh, I got some apples. I don't have any apple juice, but I got some apples. I will do. Uh, oh. okay. And then he reaches, he's got, like, some food underneath the bar. He takes out an apple and he places it in front of you and he goes... Well, I'll, if you want, I'll count that as your breakfast so you don't have to pay me. I'll take it. And then he squeezes the apple into mush and then starts... Uh, Roll a strengthful athletics check for me. <laughs> okay. Let me do... Let me try strength. Yeah, yeah, you... You you perfectly squish this apple into nothing that the juice is just flowing from your fist. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And then he just starts drinking from it. Okay. As a uh, reaction. Uh, uh, everyone, everyone knows that asking Devin to describe food stuff is just not a good idea. So, uh, Yoxper has whatever the hell is on offer. <laughs> he, 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 so, um, he, he notices that Nerostein's there and he notices that Yaxper's there. And he sees Dar coming over, and he goes, "I guess you'll be wanting your breakfast then." Yes, please. Well, 
if unless you want anything specific, I got some toast. So you'll have some toast and some cheese. We'll start with you, Drew. Uh, what do you want? You want something specific, or will you take the toast and cheese? I want some. I would like some fried eggs. I would like the toast. I would like and waffles. Some, I'd like some bacon. Oh, waffles. We don't have waffles. I don't know what the fuck a waffle is, but we don't have them. <laughs> what waffles? Sir, sir, <laughs> sir, I have a, I, I have a question. Um, is it is it true that our friend over there specifically asked to to bathe in the bathwater that our friend bathed in? Is what? That true? You did what? It, nothing. Yaxbar, private conversation. Uh, and, and Sarah just steps away from Dar and be like, "You even look in my direction." You know? <laughs> he steps. I just, the the I bartender just, steps I back. Just, <laughs> shut up! I ask for the fried eggs, the bacon, the toast, and then I move over to the table. Uh, he steps back and he shouts to the brother, "I right, put on two eggs for the Drew. Uh, do we have any bacon left?" And he goes, "No." Drew, no bacon. You have your eggs and your toast, though. That's fine. He steps up and he looks at Dar and he looks at Thera and he goes, Right, what do you two be having then? I'll take two. Do you have any sausage? He steps back. He goes, Brother! Yes? The pervert on sausage! Do you have any sausage? No. I'll take the two eggs scrambled and the toast with cheese, please. And any fruit you have. Alright, fruit's pushing it. You can have the toast and you can have the egg. But no fruit, I'm afraid. Alright, thank you. That'll do. Two more eggs, brother! And he, he goes back and he looks at it Sarah. Right, what will you be having? Take the toast and cheese. Normal it is. What about you, Big Ed? And he looks at you, Yaxma. What do you have? Give me the recommendation. The toast and the cheese. The toast and the cheese it is. I'm sure it'll be magnificent. Are you fuckers really trying to do me accent? Because I fucking almost had it enough for your ever pile last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh no, no, that's 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 Yox for <laughs> To be fair, it's Yox. He, he looks at you and he's like, mm. and, and then a few minute, a few minutes go by, and his brother comes out, and he he hands um, Yox a plate of uh, toast and cheese, like an assortment of cheeses. Uh, he looks at Wilk and then he realizes that he has the app and he's like, okay. Uh, and he looks at Insira and he goes, uh, you want it up here or you want it on one of the table with your pals? Uh, I'll take it over to the table. Thank you. All right. He then comes round and there's a door at the top here. He comes out of and he places down the food, um, that you people have asked for. As you all three have sat down. This gentleman realizes that you're all oh. together, and he kind of just. Oh, oh, wait, yeah. Not as an insult. Not as an insult. No, no. He looks okay. at you, and he goes, "No, no, no. It's it's fine. It, it's it's fine." Sorry. And he politely Sorry. gets up, and he he walks over, and he gestures to the woman, and the woman lets him sit down on this table. Uh, the brother that brings over the food looks at the three of you and he looks at the two that are sitting over at the bar and he goes, there's a seat here and I can pull another one over if you want to sit with your pals. Yeah, I'll go to that. Thank you. How about you, Rockface? That's me, Rockface. I'll drag my bar stool. That, uh, <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> What? Can you pull the chair that the half orc is sitting in away? <laughs> uh, no. He walks away looking at you like you're <laughs> fucking weird. God damn it. 
Wilk, Wilk doesn't carry the chair, the, the, the stool. He just, like, uh, drives the closet across the floor and makes a loud screeching sound. Uh, do an athletics. Uh, You'll probably okay. smash this, but I just wanted to check. Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh. Failure, oh. he just dropped. Yeah, yeah, you drag it along. Fine, you're all good. You're all good. Damn it. Oh, no. I, I... Oh. Well. Okay. Damn. Alright, so we what? have our little <laughs> we have our little breakfast club. Uh what uh uh what do you do? What do you say to each other? It's on you guys I now. Over, I look over at, at Yaxper and uh I ask him curiously uh if he can explain the library to me. Oh, Hmm. Well, uh, once when I was searching in, oh god, it was it was a many expeditions ago, so you'll have to forgive the details. Uh, I was essentially contacted by uh, a otherworldly being. I guess would be the easiest way to put it. That told me that he basically has a library that is outside of physical space that has all the knowledge in the world or at the very least endeavors to and he sends agents or perhaps at times only one uh, such as myself out to seek out knowledge and discover what is missing from his room, uh, or well, it's a bit more than a room, but uh, and in exchange, he gave me uh, a list of extra magical attributes to supplement the ones I already had, including uh, my little friend. It is basically a archive of sorts of all sorts of information I can pull from many different things, but of course, it is incomplete, and my job as well as anyone else who he has decided to give such privileges to uh, are responsible for filling it up and filling in the gaps as it were. So I can go there sometimes if I'd like to but uh, I generally like to, you know, stay out here and seek more. Uh, I liked looking for things before he contacted me and I think that's why he contacted me. But uh, I am just an emissary, as it were. Uh, this prophecy stuff is a little over my head, but if I'm to be part of something like that, then I suppose that makes sense. Oh, shit, I should have told him about that last night. <laughs> oh, that seems important. I should probably bring that up next time. So, Please do. Uh, I guess for a lack of a better term... Do you know how many librarians there are? No, uh, but you may notice I do have my card around my neck because the uh, the magical item that has been hanging around his neck is a literal library card. I mentioned it before, but it was yep. a while ago. And I also yep. don't know if it was mentioned on stream. It, uh, um, I don't think it was, but no, no. No, it was probably like the session before we started. Yeah. Uh, and it is written, and it where all the text is is you look at it, and it, it it has his face on it like like a regular library card, very plain face, and then it's just filled with like hell Cthulhu text Un that is completely unreadable to the human eye. <laughs> unreadable, unimaginable, unfathomable, strange language. You may go mad if you attempt to read it for too long. Yeah, I think uh, you spilled some ketchup on the on your library card. Uh, and as you see my library card, uh, it says, hello, uh, uh, it, it, it basically just says, my name is Yaxper, and some other things like like my height, and a couple of things like that. Mm -hmm. um, to answer your question, I don't actually know how many other custodians there are other than me. I think it kind of depends on the time. I've never met any. Um, but... I think it depends on whether or not he finds someone that interests him. He may have others, 
Uh, he may, I may run into them, uh, but at least as far as I know, I think right now I am the only one. As far as I know, I haven't bothered to ask. So if it doesn't I were really to, interest me. if I were to ask you to ask him about information, would that be something that was possible? I could. I could absolutely ask him whatever it is that you all wanted to know. I can't guarantee that he will know it, but the odds are fairly high. Okay. Uh, I would like to ask you something later, privately, if possible. I can do that. Okay. That's, that's I, have a, I have a question for you. Can okay. you ask him to let me know why Dar doesn't receive my letters anymore? <laughs> I will put. I will put it at the. It well, well, well. Neris, Neris didn't ask first, but you will be number two on the list. I appreciate it. I Do just want to enjoy my eggs and toast. It looks like books are good for something. Reading yeah. is important. Who would have thought that? Yes, did you know? Fundamental. Did you I, know I that the more you it. read? the more you consume, and I thought that means making the pages. I'm really happy with this wisdom, Wilk. Yes. I had some interesting bowel movements that day, but other than that, I gained information. So, now that we're all gathered at the table, I have to ask, once again, why did you feel the need to bathe in the bathwater? It's kind of weird, dude. That's the important question you have. Yes, very important. Not a plan or anything. We have, we have, time, to, we have at, time to get for that. Out of curiosity, was there a knife brought to cut the cheese? <laughs> yes, there is There is a no. cheese, a very specifically a cheese knife. And, and Sira's just going to pick up the knife, look at it, look at Dar, and she's just going to be like... You do something like that ever again, I will end you. I don't give a fuck. Yes, yes, your many threats will be held on the list. I don't care about them right now. <sighs> you, you, you cared enough about the sit in the bathwater. Look, that was an accident because I didn't clarify. The, the nice man at the up. counter seems to be very adamant that he did his job properly, and I uh, trust him. He's been nice to us. For the most part, like he's just doing his job. I consider him a savior. I'm not saying it's his fault. <laughs> I'm saying I didn't. Lie. I am saying I did not communicate with him properly. Are, are we speaking loud enough to where the man at the bar may overhear us? He may, but he, like I said, it's a bar. He's got customers to serve. He's, he's, got, he's, got he's not particularly there. interested in listening to you guys right now, and it's like. But besides that, it was a mere accident of my own fault. Now, we should probably look at it on our friends and then probably tomorrow see what the trader has as far as a task for us to repay him for our debt. What? Debt? I want to take a look at the town before we go see the trader tomorrow. Alright, we have a full day. It shouldn't take yeah. long. Yeah, there's there's probably go. to see, I imagine. I would like to learn more about this place as well. Yes, we should probably also... And, and Sarah notices uh, someone coming in. Yeah. <laughs> um, you would have all had the high enough past perception to understand uh, if you had oh, no. seen that oh, uh, your your good friend, oddly enough, Hoot, has uh, popped in. And he is, when he came in, he looked around like an owl would. Uh, and he sees you guys and he instantly started making his way over towards you. And he goes, Ah, oh, hello. And Sarah will offer him some uh, food. No, 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 oh, I'm sorry. fine. I've already had breakfast. Thank you, though. <laughs> Will tries to give him his leftover remains for the smash apple. It's like, do you want some? <laughs> no, my friend, I know how much you care about apples. You can have the rest. How so, generous. so generous. I slept fine. Thank you for asking. How'd our other friends sleep? Uh, Floric is Floric. Uh, I came to oh. to see how you crew are all doing. Uh, she says uh, we, we were getting 
we were getting ready to say or come see, speak to you, but you came to us. You gave us the trip. We need to check on Hera at some point. Ah, yes, yeah. I think I saw her under a tree outside. There were bodies hanging for it. It was rather Wait, strange. What? And Sierra's just gonna save some of the food just in case Harris wants someone. She yeah, please. Do. Wait, she she was sleeping under the hanging tree. I I don't know if she was sleeping. I know that I just saw her under there. And... She went. She didn't want to stay in here. I, I know that. With but you. Like, we thought she was with you. Do bathe in female bath water. D what? Don't, don't, nothing. It, it's been an he, awful night. He turns his head like an owl would. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, apparently, it's a, apparently it's like a weird sex thing according to him, I don't know. That's oh some God. high- he turns and looks at you and he goes, that's some high level debauchery that's going on. <laughs> Look, it is still early. That's, that's just what he told me. Dragons? That's just what he told me. He's Friends, can we just not start the shenanigans? It's too early. I have the, a the, the, very important question. Does yeah. it Sarah pick up on when Yoxper says that Dar said it was a yeah, sex, sex thing? thing? Yeah, that's a good point. Doesn't Sarah pick up about yeah. when Yaxper says I'm it's a sex pick thing? Up on that. <laughs> and I'm just gonna leave. I'm gone. <laughs> no, I'm gone. God damn, I, God damn it! I have left you, the building. Yaxper, do you ever consider having a filter on your mouth? That, you what you consider having about? a You're filter on your dick? Talking about you're the one who told me it was that. I never said I it was nothing. that. I made no connections about weird creepy sex things. I don't even know a lot about creepy sex things. Oh, you're the one who said it. that it was creepy. Who, has Hera drawn any attention to herself? I know Captain Lin said not to go near that hanging tree. I I don't know. I literally just got here and saw that she was under the tree. I, I feel like you think that I was here all night. I literally just got into the town, duh. Okay, sorry. I'm... Ugh. Okay, what did I'm you want to talk about? I'm not rushing off to check... Off I, I'm, I, like, I'm trying to make sure Toot didn't have anything important to say. I... It, like, well, I came to, to see how you were all doing. I know that... I, I, I'm surprised that you managed to find a place to sleep for the night. I didn't think that you all had very... Much money on you is. Did you find some money or? The yeah, trader we... paid this for us. Um, I'll be right back. You guys, fill me in when I get back. Dar, please. Oh, I wasn't sure if you were. Yeah, I yeah, I was a bit unsure there for a second. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right, so I'm we're gonna clear. pause from the breakfast group for a second, and we're gonna go pay some attention to the outside group. Then we'll come back to the breakfast group. So, yeah, yeah, the, the, breakfast the breakfast club. The breakfast club, yeah. And, uh, so, Caitlin, what do you do? Uh, and Sarah's... And Sarah's just gonna go to Heron. I'm gonna Dar beat and Sarah to the tree. Yeah. yeah. And Sarah's not gonna go I, super sorry. close to the tree. So she's gonna go... Sorry. ...to, to Hera and basically uh, just say to Hera, Do you want some breakfast? Uh, Hera, so what you will see when you come towards a tree is sure enough it is a great big oak tree and yes sure enough there are several bodies hanging from it you can tell that they've been decaying for a few days now these aren't super fresh but they're not been here a super long time it's literally been a few days um, you can see that Hera is actually quite peacefully sat down um, you know sat underneath the tree not on her knees but kind of like just sat down in quite, you know, seemingly peaceful, as you approach her and you offer her food, she will say, "No, no, no, I've, uh, I've already had uh, something to eat. Don't, don't, don't worry." You will also notice that he should actually be like somewhere like here, but sat up in uh, the tree itself, there is this gentleman. This is a a, a dwarf. Um, he appears to be wearing town guard armor, including a helmet, uh, and he's. Casually sitting in the tree, smoking a pipe. And Sarah's just gonna nod at him. He nods back. He just gives you like a nice little polite nod. He even takes the time to take his pipe out and and nod properly, and then puts his pipe back in. Did you sleep well, Hera? 
Yes, I slept um, much better out here than I ever would have in there. Trust me, you wouldn't have wanted to be in there last night after Dar's escapades. She sighs and you see she, she places her, she, one of her, el her left elbow is on her left knee and she places her hand around her eyes and goes, oh, what did he do? Oh. <laughs> he, apparently, he apparently bathed in my bath water for some sex thing. She pulls her hand, she pulls her, her face away, and she gives this look of, she, she, she gives this look of, uh, just, uh. I, I, I'm ready to beat his ass. And oddly enough, as you say that, this would be the point the doll would catch up. So doll, please catch yourself up with the others. Oh, God. Damn it. Uh, 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 as soon as he gets that close and Sierra just backs away and she's like, no closer. Okay, again, it was not intentional. Damn it. Was it. Some sex thing. It <laughs> wasn't. Was it it <laughs> married. Oh, <laughs> God. It was too early in the morning. Should we? I guess you're an oathbreaker of multiple. Things. Should we be telling? Oh! Should we tell his oh. wife about this? Kind of heresy. No! no, she's not. She's not. She's not joking. Like when she no. says this and she turns her head to look at you, she's in a laugh. She's like, "Wait, do we tell his wife about this?" Oh. Listen, I, I mean, I don't think that. The, I would hate to tell a woman that his fucking, <laughs> but her fucking husband is a degenerate. Listen. Could we stop for just a moment and actually have a legitimate, serious conversation? It is too early in the fucking day for this nonsense. It's nonsense oh. you created. Yes, I am self-chastising that on the very fucking second I remember it. For God's sakes, could you not add on to it at the moment? We have some uh, bigger pressing issues to worry about. Now with that out of the way, like Hera, question. good morning. How are you? How I, did you sleep? I am fine. I slept fine under the tree. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Um, and Dar looks over to see the dwarf with the pipe. I see no one gave you any trouble with sleeping in the tree. That's good. Th yes, this is Nork. He is the guard who is in charge of monitoring the tree I asked him politely if I may lay under it and he didn't see a problem with it so I didn't w do any weird sex things with the corpses so and at, at the mention of that and Sierra just shivers oh for god's sakes can anyone keep a straight mind and clean thoughts here the dwarf okay. It's your own okay hi thank you Nork Nork, Nork doesn't. Nork doesn't address you. He just. He got, he's going to need to smoke his pipe. Okay. All right. Uh, Don't be a narc for Nork, okay? <laughs> Domestic to Nork. Uh. <laughs> Dar just looks at the entire tree and just all the corpses. Yeah. I should probably pray over this or get permission to, if possible. <laughs> um, as, as soon as you say pray over this, Nork takes the pipe out of his mouth and he goes. Who you praying to? Uh, Vera. What's your goddess of? Nature, peace, prosperity. Not death, no? No. Kind of anti-death, well, evil death. Oh, anti-death, necromancy! <laughs> she, 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 she's against death, she's against, she's against evil necromancy, she's against evil necromancy. Oh, so she's good. So she's good for good necromancy. <laughs> okay, she's she's a nature god. She's a plant god. Oh, so she wants to use people's necromancy for good necromancy, I, huh? I was so I was so curious about the process of policing this, and I'm so satisfied. With the <laughs> and the, the best part is, while this is happening, you see that that Hera has a, a hand over her mouth, and you you don't realize straight away, but she's not annoyed she's trying not to laugh 
And then Nork looks at her and looks at you and just bats out with laughter and goes, Ah, oh, he's a fucking idiot, isn't he? Ah, oh, you're all right. <laughs> <laughs> Did, did, he, did he hear about all the bathwater shit? He was there oh, listening, yeah, so... Yeah. He was right next to us. <laughs> and he, he, and Sarah's just gonna ask curiously, why would you pray over this tree in particular? Well, praying corpses is kind of somewhat a bit defiling, and considering the captain said there are people robbing it for, robbing it for the corpses, I figured, hey, no, no, looks at you confused. No one's robbed the tree for the corpses. But the captain said people have tried to take some, or no? She probably told you not to take the bodies down. I don't think she told you about robbing them. Yeah. No, then looks at looks at Hera and goes, "You are right. He is a fucking idiot." <laughs> I mean, are you going to pray for the souls of the people or just the trees? Yes, itself? both. He's gonna fuck that tree. No, no, no. Looks at you and he goes, "All right, to be serious, if you want to pray over the tree, that's fine. Pray over the tree. But if you do any of that spooky stuff or any necromancy stuff, don't, because you will get kicked out." None of that for me, sir. None of that for me, good sir. Alright, um... Pray it away. Pray away. away. Right near now. What a great idea it is to just revive all of these corpses <laughs> hanging from the tree <laughs> in the middle of the town. <laughs> they burst to life. Oh, man! <laughs> that sucks! <laughs> okay, Adar just places... Uh, Religion his, check. Uh, Religion check? Okay. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> really badly accidentally necromances the body. Yeah, 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 yeah. A natural one necromancy. <laughs> <laughs> um you, you you do your prayer, you you're kind of fumbling on some of the verses. Um maybe it's because of the pressure of the situation, maybe it's the fucking hanging bodies, maybe it's because of all that's happened, but you do fumble some of the vo uh, the verses, um but you get your prayer off uh, as you normally would. Okay. Thank you. Thank you again for the permission, Nork. Um, you have a good day. Uh, Nasty. <laughs> Hera, Nerestine? I think we should probably rejoin with the others. My name isn't Nerestine, you Nerestine. damn <laughs> bastard! <laughs> <laughs> out of here! Wow, wow. <laughs> Up to be out of please. No, no, that's fucking in character. How can, we, how, how can we tell? You have the same voice either way. No, 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 no. Here's the thing if you had just said maybe we should go back in or something, it would have been one thing, but you were literally addressing yeah. Hera and Neristine. Yeah, it's, no, it's okay. it was not out of character. Yeah, no, no, okay. I, I, I rule that that was in character, and it's just okay. a fumble okay. that you made. Zira's just Zira. gonna Zira. literally glare drag daggers at you, and she's like, you realize you've been an utter fucking asshole to me this entire time. No apologies, you just get worse I by the fucking second. Right, uh, well, what I would like you to do, just, I have a, an interesting thing. Shadow. I would like you to open your character sheet, and under flaws, I would like you to now add mixes up female names. <laughs> On top of not being able to tell the difference between men and women based off that hair. So, Waves in your bath water can't uh, even remember your so fucking what I'm, name. So what I'm doing is, this is now, because this isn't the first time this has happened, You've it done this multiple, multiple times. Every this time is now year. this is now part of Dar's character. Is that occasionally you will mix up female names. Hey, did this episode have a title? Uh, yes, but you'll get to it later on because it's it's about oh, a specific okay. thing. Oh, oh god! Because I was gonna say, because I was gonna say, if it wasn't decided, I think we have at least a couple contenders going. There was one yeah. that I was quickly trying to make. Because I was like, oh, this sounds better than the one I made. But I was like, oh, no, I can, it's too late now. Like, okay. and Sarah's just going to glare and she's like, now you can't even get my fucking name right. And you do this all the time. She's just going to look at Hera straight on and she's like, 
You fucking wasted your immortality on this bastard. Look, you didn't deserve I'm it. Sorry, I'm under a lot of stress. Leave You're all sorry all. now because I called you out on your bullshit. No, I'm not. And I would quite frankly think we should put oh, aside yeah, whatever he, he said. He ain't sorry. I... She's just gonna walk back to the tavern. She's fucking done. Hera, Hera looks at you, da. Hera looks at you, da. Like she says, I understand that you're stre. I understand that you're stressed. But you need to get your shit together, or at least start getting your shit together, da. <sighs> yeah. This is gonna be a long journey, no sprint. Go I'm back having, to your friends. I'm having more fun than the trial. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What did you say? What did Hera say? Uh, she said to go back to your friends, speak to them, get together, whatever you need to do. When you're ready about what you actually want to do, come and get me. I'm staying as far away from that bar as I can. All right. Wait. Is the anti-magic anything an issue with you? No, it's not that. I just, I don't like the place. Alright, fair enough. I agree with that. Enjoy your time here. I'll come meet you later. Oh, gosh. So, when you, all of you return to the table, there's just been some little bit of chit-chatting, but the moment you all come back, Hoot goes, Ah, yes! Um, so... What I wanted to say was, um, I, 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 I didn't think that you guys would all have a room to, to stay for the night, seeing as your funds aren't exactly fantastic at the moment. Uh, I would... I'm rich. I don't think you are, but, okay, you're rich, you're rich in character, want and won't and wilk. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be down over here, baby. Anyway, um, since I understand that you didn't have much money, uh, I w was thinking about ways of helping you. I, uh, I came into town and, um, I spoke to that lady, the, uh, the one in the armor, the Lin Lindsay something, Captain Lynn, that's her name. Um, she, uh, why, why are you making that noise when I'm saying a character's name? That's weird. Um, <laughs> you said Lynn. Uh, I spoke to Captain Lin, and um, I inquired what would we be do need to do to earn some funds. And she did explain to me that there are some um, uh, quests of some sort that the the town would like to have completed, and that all we need do is um, go and speak to her, and she will tell us what it is uh, that needs doing. Um, I'm afraid I probably won't be able to help too much. I'm trying to keep an eye on Floric and trying to uh, follow up some leads. And he taps his beak to, ta to follow up on some leads of some stuff that I have in the woodwork. So um, I suggest if you are in need of some funds, you speak to her. And she may point you out in the direction of some honest labor to earn honest coin. All right. Sounds like something we can do. Splendid. I, I, I'm in for it. Mm, I guess it helps to get richer. Well, um, if you need me or Floric, we will be just slightly out of town in, in the cart. Um, like I said, uh, if you really need us, let us know, but we are trying to keep a low profile. Uh, who question. Um, yes. Do you think there are any ways to reinforce the cart, make it safer, probably fat, move a little faster without wearing down, uh, or minimize wear and tear on it? Perhaps if uh, I, I I don't have any any tools, if we had maybe a, uh, some carpentry tools, uh, perhaps and, and the material, obviously, then perhaps we, we we could see about doing such a thing. But right now, I I, I do not have the goods or the funds to get such things. All right, I'll make that a side project, I guess. You or try to. You you do that, sir. But um, if you do need me or Floric desperately, you know where we'll be. But uh, until you then, rest up. You think you're a lot. I think so. I wish you all good luck. Godspeed, Al. 
remember, give a hoot, don't pollute. I would never dream of polluting any leaves. <laughs> Dar pulls up the chair and down. There's a part of me that really likes the idea that Hoot walks out of the building and goes, That's my new catchphrase. <laughs> he just gets a pad out and he's just scribbling it down. Yeah, he's like, Wait a fucking minute, hold on. Wait, that's what you're right give, give a Hoot, never pollute. <laughs> Oh, I like this. Halfway, halfway this. through, he goes, Ah, no, I've got a new one. Give a hoot, or else I'll shoot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I um, made it my own. <laughs> legally distinct. The best kind of distinct. <laughs> All right. Uh, Dar pulls up and sits down and asks, Okay, so... Aside from everything in our outbursts, how did everyone sleep? I, mean, I dreamt I was making a really nice peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And then someone was talking to me, and I was like, huh? <laughs> and then I woke up, and there was no peanut butter and jelly sandwich in front of me. So I'm having a pretty bad morning now that I thought about it, dog. <laughs> I, well, I you, thought ru it. you ruined his morning. Wait, what did you say? Uh, what did you say? In Ham. Were you going to call her Ansira? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, why would, why would, why would you do that? Get off! I see myself I see this. Keep calling me Neristine. I'm so what? I guess maybe he's no. looking after you now. Why don't you just what? combine the names and call them Ansiristine? <laughs> <laughs> the, the fucking fusion dance name has been established. Ansiristine. <laughs> it's that's the ship name if things go places. Oh, Ninsira. <laughs> oh, that's also good. <laughs> One's Batara earrings, the other's fusion dots. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What did Kara say? I was saying out of character. I honestly thought we were just all ignoring Dar. <laughs> 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 like he just sat down and he tried to make casual conversation, but given everything that's gone on, we were just shutting him out. <laughs> god, fucking, oh my god. I mean, Caitlin knows what that's like. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you guys answer my question or no? Dar's question or no? Well, I mean, you ask a question. Wilk and Won't already answered their questions. So. What was the question again? How did everyone sleep? Uh, well, I had the dream that someone tried to talk to me, and it was kind of weird. And then I woke up, and I was like, Seymour's still gone. <laughs> and then I was sad. Wait. Even, like... even, though he, even though he could be, like, back in two seconds if I walk out that door. But until that happens, it's like there's a wall between me and him. Right. Da. Oh. Da. No. No. In Sorry. Insight check. Insight. Okay. All right. Uh. You what? don't. You don't put it together. Damn. All right. All right. Fine. Can I roll an insight check? Yes, you may. You do put it together. You do find it a bit weird that he mentions a dream. And hold on, Wilk and Won't just said they mentioned a dream where someone was talking to them. You do find that a little bit suspicious that they both had dreams where people were trying to talk to them, and you had a dream where someone was trying to talk to you. I mean, that could be just coincidence, because yeah, people talk to I people in dreams. Dream. No, I know, but I'm just saying, no, I'm saying you, your character, you haven't mentioned that. Yeah. Your internal monologue would have the ideas of, hold on, that's a bit strange, because he mentioned someone trying to speak to him, and Wilk and Won't mentioned someone trying to talk to them. And so you know, the you know what your dream was. I mean, it you're like it could be a bit of a coincidence because obviously people talk to people in dreams, um, but it's a bit weird. Yeah, uh, Dar yeah. just sorry, go ahead. shut up, Dar. <laughs> uh, can yeah. I roll an insight yeah. check? Yes, shut you up, may. Man. Yes, you may. <laughs> While you roll, you put it together. You go. This is really so. It, 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 
with your mindset for it in Sira, it's hold on. They had a dream where someone was trying to talk to them. What do they mean by trying? Hold on. Trying is in they can hear them. Trying they can understand them. And then you hear the exact same from Wilk, and you're like, hold on, that's strange. To have another dream where someone's talking to them, but they don't, do they not understand it? And then you put together that you had a dream where someone spoke to you in Celestial, and your brain goes, hold on, Celestial is not a common language. Celestial is the is the language of the of the angelic beings in this world. It's not something that loads of people know. Even religious texts, the only religious texts that are written in that are Azamarian or like real high relic kind of stuff. So your brain is going, Hold on, did Yaxburn not understand what was being said in his dream because they were speaking celestial? So you've put a lot of this together and find it a bit weird and you're thinking about the what ifs which lead you down to this road of the possibility of having the same dream. Can you can you two describe what the person in your dream that was talking to you looked like? Because you both seem to be having at least to me a similar dream in which someone was talking to you that you both couldn't understand uh, uh hmm what did you say that it looked like i got actually you didn't see it you just heard a voice oh it's just a voice oh, uh, i wasn't man. sure if it was just a voice or if it was it if was they actually saw a person talking to them. no it was just a voice uh well admittedly it was more like a voice than a person but I, I guess I should have been more clear, um, but it was it was it was in a it was in a, a a language that I didn't understand, which I do know comprehend languages, but I was kind of sleeping, so it's not like I could you know solve that problem at the time. Plus, we're in a non-magic bar. I, well, that too, but I mean, I was still asleep. I wouldn't have been able to cast it anyway. Hmm. Weird. What about you, and Sarah? Did you, by chance, have a similar dream? Yeah, I had a weird dream. Couldn't understand anything, though. Can I roll insight? Um, well, so, uh, N and Sarah, roll deception roll for me. Ooh. While, while she's doing that, DM question. Go on. If I had cast Comprehend Languages, for, forget the magic anti-magic field for a minute. Uh -huh. If I had cast Comprehend oh, Languages before fuck. a dream, would it even have fucking mattered? Um, yeah, it wouldn't have mattered because yeah, you I sleep so. for eight hours and I would dictate at what point in that eight hours the dream happened. So it would all depend whether or not I was nice enough to say the dream happened early in your sleep when Comprehend Languages may have been active. <laughs> Or if it really, happened so, later so, but, on. But the, but the spell can apply to a dream. In my opinion, yes. Okay. My That's opinion. My DMing just, style. And just as in real life, Kara can see through Caitlin's bullshit. All right. Yeah, All right, so, if, we ever need to, if we ever need to induce sleep in Yoxburg to decipher I mean, a code, we can do yeah, it. So you yeah, need, so you need you need to you, you need to roll insight against that. So you've not exactly... Wait, so wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, you fucking... So yeah, that's a big one. You tell that um, in Syrah, when she said that, uh, she didn't understand it, she deliberately didn't look at you. And there was a slight okay. twitch in her mouth. And you, having been trained in the Underdark to spot lies, notice that people tend not to look at someone who they think might be able to tell they're lying when they're lying. And that some people have physical uh, twitches that show that they're lying. So you know she's lying. Could you by chance tell if you... What the language might have been? Even if you didn't understand it. I don't remember much of it. Dare roll deception for me. 
please be better. Please be better. Please be better. What would you like? Roll another insight for me, uh, Kara. You, yeah. you know she's lying. You see that she's she's calmed the twitch down. Uh, the little twitch that happened in the corner of her mouth. She's like said, fucking stop that shit. But she still hasn't looked at you. So you know she's still lying. So we've got three people who have had similar dreams and yet three people who don't know what was being said. <clears throat> I look at Dar and I ask him if he also had a dream. I had a dream, yeah. It was a feminine voice. One, but... that, did, one that did not involve in Sarah. Oh my god. The, the Could... knife from the cheese platter is picked up once more. I believe the bartender did say no killing in the bar, but I don't think that, 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 must, that must be some oh, good cheese. I can do a lot of things without killing you first. To answer your question, Naristine, yes. It was a feminine voice, but I couldn't make it Bob out. Bob <laughs> No, I'm actually gone. While, while we're talking about this, and Sierra's just gonna whisper, maybe we shouldn't be talking. Ah, uh, stealth roll, oh, please. Oh, that's a good point. I would need a stealth roll for that from uh, in Sierra, and yeah, yeah, you're good. You're quiet enough that like, it's not hard to whisper in a bar where there's lots of noise. Here's my thought: we're talking about dreams shared dreams of a voice that in a language that no one understands i think to talk about this openly we should go somewhere else that's a good idea let's talk in the fountain <laughs> not like and where would you prefer to go somewhere where there's less people Again, where would you prefer to go? Somewhere in town where it's not surrounded. It's a town. It's going to be difficult. There's going to be places uh, where not everybody's working. Did I ever get an answer working. for what this room up top is? What room? Sorry. Uh, uh, ping, room ping it for me. This here? This one oh, here. that's just a oh, person's yeah, house that I did not yeah. occupy. Yeah, actually, actually, yeah, let's go to our, let's go to one of our rooms. I just wasn't sure if that was like, that like a third floor attic kind of thing. Or no, something. no, 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 no. That's that's um. Th there are free buildings in here that are just they are people's houses, but th 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 they're not houses that you would have went in, um, or have any reason to go in. So I did not populate them. <clears throat> okay, but yeah, uh, she's gonna whisper. Let's go up to one of our rooms. And she'll go upstairs. Okay. Dark gets up and follows. Whoa. They'll go to Yaxbar's room because Sincere is not about to let Dar in her room. <laughs> Where what the fuck? No, wait. The fuck? I don't know. I lost control of my, my icon. Where are my you? thing also uh, lost control. I also lost control of my thing. So. That's weird. I, would, I ended up outside. I would prefer I not to go into into those rooms because those rooms are right above the bartender. Okay, let's go, yeah, over to Naristine's room. Um, oh yeah. Oh, wait for her to open the door. Thank yeah, you. I unlock the door and I step in. God, a horrible thought just occurred to me. Ooh. I wonder what Darth's room smells like now. Oh Can, can we, we not... focus? Please people. And Sarah's just gonna Try to get closer to their steed to get further away from Dar. That's <laughs> just <laughs> right. I like the idea of you standing directly in front of Wilk, who's towering above you. Yeah, like yeah. she's just between the two. She's just like, don't you dare come he's, over here. He's you just fuck. looking down at you with those horrible beady eyes. Okay. Uh, and Sierra's just gonna go, okay, so I did understand what was in the dream. But. Oh, I, I figured as much. But it mentioned a book. I figure it's the book, the prophecy one. What, your book or another book? No, the one at... The prophecy book. Gaul's book. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. So, 
the fact I didn't really want to talk about it in there where we'd have to, you know, I didn't want people to hear about Gaul or the prophecy in general. Right, I'm gonna ask until... I'm gonna ask an out of character question. Caitlin. Yes. When you lied to Neristine, Yes. Were you lying for the actual reason of you don't want other people to hear? Or were you lying because you actually didn't want members of the party to know that you understood? No, I was lying because I didn't want people in the bar to hear. But as soon okay. as I realized Nierstein was going to see through it and keep going with it, I was just like, okay, let's just go to the room and try there instead. Okay, okay, no problem. Please continue. But um, she's going to be like, I didn't want people downstairs to possibly hear because... Um, Until we know more about that prophecy and figure out what's going on with the Lux Priesthood, we should probably be extra careful about certain uh, things. Uh, Yoxbar has an observation that I guess Hex will decide if it should be insight or not. What uh, or maybe it, wouldn't, maybe, maybe it wouldn't be a roll of, of either way. Uh, but um, what language was yours spoken in? What so language nice did you hear? Does anyone else here speak that? No. Actually, can you guys do? Does anybody remember the exact phrases that were in their dreams? Maybe well, I could. I could. I couldn't understand the ones in. The ones. I didn't oh, no, 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 no. But, but here's the thing: if you remembered what was said, I'm curious if she was telling each of us the same thing. That's what I'm trying to different. figure out. Or even if they were in different languages, depending on who we were. Wait. Can I roll history to see if I can remember, like... Yeah. The... Yes. Yeah, That's exactly what I was going to suggest. If if anyone would like to roll history to remember... Oh, Dad does not oh, fucking remember. Alright. Nerestine, you remember... You remember not understanding it, but you remember the weird guttural phrases. Oh. Language again? No, 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 no. She doesn't remember what language it is. She remembers the weird guttural phrases. Now, but if she could repeat it, is it one? Yeah, language? I was going to say, Nerestine, okay. would you like to attempt to repeat the weird guttural language that you had? I. Could, wait, wait, wait. I'm going could... to attempt something. Okay. Uh, hold on, hold on. Before she does that, I want to do. Um, uh. Uh, guidance. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Is it guidance? Yeah, it's guidance. Yep. I know and guidance very well. Try to so. give, give her a little bit of help. Alright, so, Kara, what would you like to do? I would like to ask Yaxbert to cast... Oh, no, we gotta go outside to do this. I want him to cast Comprehend Languages. What I would suggest... So, oh. that, so that should I... Should I somehow say a word in Infernal correctly, he would know what the language well, is. Well, here's the thing. I speak Infernal. Yeah, I was going to say, you have someone right in front of you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, I didn't, I didn't know which yeah. Oh, yeah, that's this is a good point. This is a good, this, this is a good point, but we also... Uh, there may be a, everyone got a different language, although we don't know. Yeah, that but um, it's yeah. Like, but here's the thing: if two of us match, the chances of all of us matching are pretty good. I think. What I would like you to do, if you would like to attempt to repeat um, what was said, um, Nerestine, I would like you to roll a performance check. Oh. And and, and she's got help with guidance. Yeah. Right? So you have a D four on top of whatever you roll. Oh, Jesus. This isn't gonna be good. It might was. No. Oh, no, hey. roll. So um. Uh, plus, plus four, four. Plus yeah, roll. Four, yeah. yeah, there you go. Hey. So you do not understand the words that you are saying, but you somehow manage to with the memory of an, an elf, which for the as long as they live is fantastic. For with your memory. And just closing your eyes and recalling what was said and just telling your mouth to follow what was being said in your brain, you manage in Infernal to say exactly what was said in your dream. Now, if anyone in here 
speaks Infernal. What Neurasthene says, nearly perfectly, she maybe doesn't understand some of the grammar of it, but she gets the words bang on. She says, the book has the answers. Ooh. About just All you need do is listen and follow. Is that the exact phrasing as the other one? No. No. No, no it's not. Oh. Oh. They all got something okay. different. Answers. All you so. need to do is what? So, um, the book listen has all the follow. answers. All you need to do is listen and follow. So, we all got something different. Hold on, I haven't said anything yet. Oh, sorry. And uh, as, as Nierstein was saying it, I was translate, translating it, and she's like, "We that wasn't what was said in my dream. So each of us probably got something different. What's uh, said in your dream? Uh, the exact phrase was... Can I hear this person coming up the stairs? Roll a perception check. At disadvantage. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. You're in a room. You're all trying to focus on this at the moment. Um, Yo. You 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 hear you you hear something. You can't quite make it out though. I I quickly tell everybody to to quieten down because I think I hear something. Oh. Right, conversation for later then. Hold on. We'll just come up the room. Is that is that like it can? Oh, okay. You already left the room. So, uh, so, so you, when you leave the room uh, in Tindra, you would notice that the familiar image of Captain Lynn is across from you, knocking on that door, and she hears you come out and goes, "Ah, the people that I was um looking for. Where is the rest of your compatriots?" Uh, they're uh, right behind. Behind come us. On. Uh, they're right in there. She looks at you. Why were you all in one room together? I'm uh, sleeping. We were discussing that we should come talk to you. Together. Okay, said, uh, and Sarah's just going, just going to say, we were discussing things we'd rather keep private. And we didn't feel right discussing it in a bar. I understand. As long as it is not against it's the not town. It's not a bad thing. Oh. Not against the town or anything like that. Just some uh, private stuff. That's it. Um, are the, the she's not gonna bullshit this woman again after the last time. Are the yeah. other two in there? Like, the... I, was, I was blown yeah, away when uh, Dar Nierstein... immediately attempted to do so. She, yeah, yeah, she's gonna go. Nearestine, well, come on out. Well, come on out. <laughs> oh, well, go on, hold on. Ah, yes. Oh, uh, yes, <laughs> the, the. I'm sleeping. Ah, oh, yes, the Goliath. Uh, is the other woman in there? The woman? Uh, yes. Nearest Dean. I'm not like that. I'm shy. <laughs> uh, she, she, she's, um, she, she's kind of... Wait, 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 Dar, what are you saying? Uh, yeah. she's kind of bad with people. Just give her some time. Um... Roll me deception. I people than you. God, I want to see this deception. Please, no. Yeah, yeah, I'm so oh, rid of this. One, 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 oh, one. Yeah! yeah! So she sees, she sees, she, she sees that as you say that, you're a little bit sweaty. And she goes, what was her name again? The woman in the room? No, me this is fucking crazy. Nearest Dean, exit that room. I, I hate this man so much. <laughs> uh, for my dice rolls or just period? You're, you, you just... Period! I'd step out. The moment <laughs> you step out, she grabs a hold of the hilt of her sword and she glares at you. Oh. And she looks at you and she goes... I think you all have some explaining to do, don't you? Okay. What? Wait, what, uh, what? Remember, she never saw Nerestein as a drow. She saw it as a person using disguise self. Okay, uh, okay. Oh, 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 no. And Sierra's just going to step to the side of Nerestein to keep Lynn away from her and go, she posed as a human female because drow gets such a bad reputation. 
even more than the stone golems. Now, me and Dar. It's seriously not that bad of a person, really. Is Jeez. that true? Is that true? Is that is that Nerestine? Is that the reason that is why? One hundred percent the reason. Right. Okay. Roll me a persuasion. Me. Yes, you, because you're the one speaking. Okay. Okay. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. So. Uh oh. Can, can I? Roll? Oh, can can I? I. I was kind of help helping her with that to give her advantage because yeah, that yeah, is cause I, the I, reason. No, you I, can I speak up. Help. You can speak up um, okay, if you yeah. wish. I, I, I tell Captain Lynn that is one hundred percent the reason she should know based off of the history of the drought, just how disliked, and distrusted they are. That. To have one just freely walking around is not number one, not very common, and number two, always catches a side glance or whispers of of slurs and and anger and what have you. Now it's just easier. What I would to... like you to do is I'd like you, Nerestine. To make a persuasion roll at advantage. Please, Lord Jesus. Okay, 14. 14. So, you can see she's still not happy. But she looks at all of you, and particularly at Nerestine, and goes, Do you have any idea how bad you have started off in this place? You've given me false names. You have attempted to hide yourself, your true selves from me. Short of coming into my town and stabbing someone, this is possibly the worst way to introduce yourselves. You do all understand that, correct? I mean, to be yeah. fair, you, you kind of took care of the stabbing someone as we entered. And you think... Oh, and you I think... Don't, I, I, don't, I don't think that was the way to... Oh, no. And you think your sassiness will help you in a situation like this. I think you all need to seriously reevaluate how you actually enter a place and whether or not it's good for you to stay around here. Yes, we, we will consider that. We, we would like right. to make this up to you and apologize in whatever way we can. We told right, sure. you have some time for us. Well, it's, right, it's good that you speak for your group and have decided I that don't. you will all... Well, you already have, so why would you speak like what you just said for your group as if you are not speaking for your group? What That doesn't make sense. It's a suggestion to the group. I'm speaking for myself, mostly. Then stop acting like you're, suge you're talking for the group. No. Now listen. I believe your companion, compatriot, pet, I don't even know. <laughs> spoke Just to me friend, friend well, not you spoke to me and said that you are interested in helping out the town and earning some gold for yourself is is that correct yes yes well yes we have uh, a situation and I was told that you would come and speak to us, but since you all decided to take your time, I figured I would find you myself. There is a situation, uh, and we do require some assistance. You may be the people to to do this with us. Um, there is some there is some gold in it. However, I must say, because of the way you've acted, I'm probably going to reduce the amount that you would have earned. But uh, there will be, still be some money in it. Uh, is is this kind of proposal something that you are interested in? Yes. yes. Be, I would I say I would be very is. interested. If very I might. Much. If I might. Um, we most certainly did not make the best entrance into the town. I think we can all admit that. Uh, while I do not think it, it is, it's an excuse... We have had a very rough journey on the way here, and while I, again, don't think that excuses it, uh, we were definitely more cautious than we perhaps should have been, and we will endeavor to try and earn your trust back as much as we can in the future. Uh, 
of course, you are free to judge us as you will from here on out. And if we continue to make a mockery of ourselves, then, well, that's on us. But we will do our best to try and change things from here on out, if you will allow us the chance. Roll a persuasion. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, fuck, oh. It's the charisma-based thing. It should be what you do, Warlock. There we go. Right, so you see that she has yeah! cal- she has calm she has calmed down a little bit. The hand is no longer on the sword; it's been moved away from it. She seems she seems a little physically calmer. She goes, "I appreciate what you are saying. You do just need to understand this from my point of view. I am in charge of protecting all the people in this town. That is on my shoulders. I already had to deal with a cult." I can't that have like a big problem, yeah. I can't have anything oh. else happen. She looks at you. Don't let him speak if he only says stupid things. <laughs> Sorry. Be- yeah, believe that's me, my be- job. Believe me, it's it's quite an issue. <laughs> Just to remind you, Dar, the whole reason there are people hanging from the hanging tree is because they were working with a cult. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry. To be fine. fair, that was, that yes, was a seven, month ago. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> um, but she, she'll continue to say, I've had to put down a cult. You have to understand, from my point of view, a group of individuals, after having to deal with this cult, appear in my village, in my town, instantly lie to me about their names. Instantly. Only to be found out almost as quick as they lied. And then I come to see that one of them was using magic. Well, I assume it's magic, seeing as you've suddenly become yourself in an area that I know has an anti-magic field. You've suddenly become yourself. You understand from my point of view that this this isn't this is suspicious behavior. Beyond I, I, suspicious, even. I I, I, would say. I definitely understand the worry. If it makes you feel any better, once. Nerestine's disguise was gone. She still just kept going. She did not make any trouble. She still tried to go into the bar. It's just... A lot of us, as you can tell, are a bit of an odd bunch, and usually we don't get the best treatment. It makes us weary, and I apologize that we started off on the wrong foot. If we can help you, just let us know. We very much appreciate the chance to help out as much as we can to earn back as much good favor Shut as we can. Up, Dar! So, I, I appreciate that, and if you take what I offer and you complete the task, it will it will go a way of, 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 of helping us. Um, I will cut the chase. Outside of our fair town, there is, as you can see, the mountains. Um... Normally, we don't have any issues from the mountains, unless it's the Northerners, but that's another topic for another time. Uh, We have, however, come into knowledge that um, the outlining farms have been hit, uh, their cattle have been killed, um, viciously, I might add. Uh, I sent some guardsmen to investigate, and... um, Needless to say, uh, several guards went before I even had an understanding of what it was. Um, uh, We have sadly come under attack from uh, ogres and trolls. Apparently there is some in the uh, in the mountain. There is a there is a cave where some trolls uh, uh, some trolls have taken up residence with, with some Ogres, as I guess, as underlings. Now, I've already sent two men to their death. I will not send anyone else. Uh, however, we have put a bounty on this group's head. Uh, if you were to wipe out the trolls, we would give you 500 gold per troll head. And for the ogres, we would kill, give you a further 150 gold per, per ogre that you, that you kill. So, um, that, that is what we were saying, uh, obviously, because of everything that happened, I would reduce some of that gold a little bit, but 
it is still quite the sum of money so I ask would this be something you would be willing to do yes uh, hold on Dar is everybody else interested in doing this personally I am money is money and we definitely want to earn good favor and saying no now would not exactly help either of those Nerestine, Wilk? I'm fine. Wilk? I don't know. Do you want to just keep, like, Dar keep speaking for us? I think that's the way to do it. I think <laughs> we should I ultimately mean, let Dar. He is I, our leader. I am I think no that is, I, I, I think, I think, I think that is a hanging tree outside with his name on Oh, for the love of gods. Look, okay. Um, Captain, do you want any prisoners or just bring back heads? No, these people these creatures have killed two of my men. Uh, we trolls. must kill them. They're not, looking, they're not looking for prisoners. They're trolls. And ogres. The orcs I meant. Oh, and ogres. Orcs, ogres, sorry. I don't mind interrogating some trolls. <laughs> now, I would say that you are strong-looking adventurers. I'll give you that. But have you ever dealt with ogres or trolls before? Uh, Do we read not... our history? Uh... I was just going to say, they're not quite frequent where I'm from. Yeah, so, I'm going to be honest, probably none of you would have dealt with ogres or trolls before. The yeah. most likely would actually be Wilk and Woe, because o yeah, in this like, world, like ogres and trolls tend to live in the mountains, no, and yeah. uh, you have lived in the... You were born and raised in the mountains. So, yep. um, you would probably be the one character that may have knowledge. So what I would say is if you want to try to recall if you know anything about ogres and trolls, you can do a history check to see what you can remember. Okay. All of us are just Wilk and Wilk. What do you think after I just <laughs> said the phrase? Sorry, sorry. Just, yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's do that. Do you want me to tell the nice captain lady about the bath water? <laughs> right. So, okay, you you did really you did really good on that. Um, especially for only having a plus one. So I'm actually gonna be nice. You nice. have di had dealings with ogres, and you have had dealings with trolls. Um, immediately, you remember that uh, you have seen Goliaths die fighting these things. So, for your people to have actually died in a fight with these things, this is no small skirmish. This is this is a fight. Um, you actually remember that one key thing someone told you, uh, another Goliath said to you, if you ever, ever, ever fight a troll, you must bring fire. My mom said that as she held up a uh, very, very uh, fiery hot pan. <laughs> so, you, you, you remember that you were told by someone very sternly and like very seriously that if you go to fight a troll, you must bring fire. Talk says this to the group. No, I don't. In fact, I keep this information to myself. Oh no, please. No, uh, but yeah, they're really bad. I would suggest, uh, uh, keeping your guard up at all time against them. Do you mention the fire thing? Fire bad. <laughs> to, to against them. them. Fire oh, okay. good against them, you mean. Okay. No, fire is bad against everyone, but specifically against them, because they burnt really easily. Okay, uh, uh, and Sira's just gonna look at the other Listen, he's up. just saying, just saying that just grab a torch and just flame their asses. And they'll, they'll be fucking all toasty. Uh, 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 okay. What it for me? Fire, that, uh, uh, that, that would have been nice if my, me or my men knew that when I sent them out to fight them. If only we all had fire. But the only fire that beats is in our hearts. Well, um, uh, but I, uh, she, she hurries in her bag and she takes out a scroll. She, t she has an ink quill. Um, 
she looks at you and she goes, "Okay, so I, I need to make records for this, uh, for for the town. Um, we need to keep bookkeeping for gold that's handed out. We have a treasury. Obviously, we need to keep an account for these things. So, um, what can I put your group's name as?" Oh fuck! I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need starters. <laughs> Hold on. Wait. No, we didn't talk about this out of character. <laughs> Come on, this is a big moment. So she she oh, looks man. at you, she sees that no one says anything and says I'll just put down pending for now. Pending, yeah, thank you. Maybe pending. when you're ready you come and let me know. Obviously I, I'll need to know before I can pay you, but um Yeah. Yes. Did you call the apple dumpling crusaders? <laughs> the, the apple we'll, dumpling we'll, crusaders? We'll, <laughs> we'll get to that later. Any, yeah. Thank you so much. We will I, try I, to leave. I, I don't hate that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna put this out there for anyone listening. I, I fucking stole that. This is a common, a common D and D thing. Um, it to to force your group to make a name is yeah. you got to do a quest. You got to get paid for that quest. Hey, a town yeah. needs to keep records of these things. So what are they just gonna put down? Yeah. Random group of weirdos paid. Hey, guess what? That's what what fucking Matt Mercer does in Critical Role. Does he? Uh, I've never seen Critical Role. It, 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 it's it's literally the Spider-Man trope. He can't get yeah. paid as an adventure because he mm-hmm. yeah. his name out. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I will say to everybody, I will say to Lynn and everybody, I think... Shadow we're... Shouts were called Vox Mark. <laughs> <laughs> and his strength, strength go down. <laughs> strength go down the whole... <laughs> uh, but she's instead just going to say, um, I think we should First, we should go see the trader and tell him we're gonna go do this mission for the town, and then we should probably go ahead and get going. Ah, yes, uh, Trevor. Uh, word for the wise: uh, keep your wits about you. He's a bit of a slippery one. Well, we need to keep our wits about us anyway. We've got one in here that's witless, and I'm not talking about the stone golem. Well, um, I will let you get back to it. Uh, Thank you. If you require any more assistance or if you have completed the task, please uh, just let me know. I'll be around the town. If you ever can't see me, speak to one of the guards. My guards will always know where I am. Thank you very much. We've got to hurry and get these pockets full. And I'm not talking about just apples. And Sierra's going to go to the others and be just like, I don't know about you guys, I figure... One of the ones of us who can pretty much only use fire is probably Axbar. But it sounds uh, like it could be worth our while to maybe come up with a few ideas. Out of character. Out, out of character. Um, the only one of us that can use Yaxbar. Yaxbar. No fire magic whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, why, that's, why, that's, that's why he was like, uh, uh, about that. <laughs> I'll be right I'm, back. I'm, I gotta go to the bathroom. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm about I'm about that. Do- if she was gonna hear that, and be like, you don't have fire magic. Wait, well, you have fire. Your name is me. Have your name means incinerate. Wait, yeah, wait a minute. That's a good point. I haven't quite gotten there yet. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, you didn't shut up then. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. Uh, the fucking and Sierra's just gonna be like Did you just say it's a family name? Get, get the fuck out of here that, That's a dar level excuse <laughs> <laughs> Don't, don't, don't anyway. lower yourself to that <laughs> You have a corporate manufacturer name I have a whole name <laughs> Then we need to think how to use fire. In all honesty, this place has a lot of alcohol. Have you never taken a stone and two sticks and just rub yes. it against each other? And just well, here's that? the thing. We could use some of the alcohol if we buy it from them and maybe create a f- flammable they might explosion also, of sorts. They might, they might also just have other things we can buy that might help. We could, this. but it's definitely wise to consider a lot of options. We should probably sure. 
sure. busy yeah. the town shop. We need to go see the trader anyway. But at least we could absolutely make that we've got alcohol here. Okay. Yeah. It is possible. I want to do all of yeah. it. Light those sons of bitches on fire. Whoa. Just to Sorry. Much the bar Let, I will be. I, I, Shadow gets back. Yeah. I was. I was gonna say. I will be right back. Yeah. Every, <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna call uh, a, a five to ten minute break. Everyone, go use your restroom. Get fresh drinks. Get yeah. a snack. Whatever. I, okay. I, I might need a little bit longer than that. I gotta go take care of dishes real quick. Tell you what. Fifteen minutes. We're gonna have a fifteen minute break. Everyone can chat. You can start throwing ideas out for names. Back. Use the restroom. Yeah. Grab some food. Whatever. Okay. Alright, I will be right back. And while we're waiting, so that people have stuff to listen to, I'm going to put the Fabio music back on. I'm going to turn it up a little bit so that people can hear it. Did that just suddenly fucking stop? <laughs> the fuck? That's weird. Stop. Play. No. Now they're not working. Fuck it, we'll just leave that one on. There we go. We're going to take a break uh, so that people can go to the restroom and stuff. How are the viewers doing? I know we've got four people, don't know who. Hope you're all good. Hope you're having, enjoying the stream. Okay, I haven't been paying attention to you guys, so I've been trying to get back you know, into everything, so... I'm back. Welcome back. Looking for these other tracks? No, 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 because it's not playing one of them for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> so weird. I might have to re upload that. Just gonna have to stick with that one for now.
Okay. Welcome back. So who's here? I'm here. I'm here, Shadow's here, and you are now back. That's everyone back so far. Is uh the party name going to be uh the thing we talked about earlier today? What? Oh, maybe, 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 yeah. maybe. If it's good enough, it will be. Okay. Yeah, funnily enough, Sam hit on something, like the applesauce thing. I don't know if that's the exact one we'll go for, <laughs> but I feel like it's the right direction. Well, the applesauce crusaders. <laughs> yeah, I feel like there's something there. More than nothing. Because, like, the thing is, I had a name for you guys. Um, that you were going to be called. Um, but then, after a while, I was like, well, no, it's no fun when you give them a name. It's always more fun if they make a name for themselves. Like, all the groups I'm in... All the groups have made their own name after some event or because of something. So I figured, you know what? While I had a name and I liked that name, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make them take that. I'm gonna. Well, funny thing about Applesauce Crusaders, and you probably heard it both in my voice and in Yoxpur's because it was true for both of us. Where I had that moment, where we both had that moment, rather, because mm. he's inside me at all times. <laughs> all times. Yeah. Where we both, where we had that moment of like. What are you talking about? No, wait. <laughs> wait. Hold on. You might Hold be on. onto something. <laughs> I, th I think there's more than nothing here. Deep in a tower, locked away, a, a small Kenku goes apple, apple juice. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm man. Unless we got, unless we get better contenders. I think I'm in that camp for now. Right. I, I I may indeed be Team Applesauce Crusaders. <laughs> Applesauce Crusaders are uh, Apple Dumplings Crusaders. See, I like Applesauce Crusaders because in my my brain, whenever I hear that, goes, "Is that a motherfucking JoJo reference?" <laughs> yeah. Right now, I think that's the front runner. I think that's what we got. But we got time. You got time. You you got time. You don't need to give them an. You, uh, you, the only time you need to give C uh, Captain Lin a name is is when you want to get paid. So you could go kill the things, bring back the heads, and say we're not quite ready for a name yet. It just means you won't get paid until you get that name. Yeah. Mm. Dar and the boogie bang. <laughs> the Darets. The Darets. <laughs> Dar and the Dar Apple Cheek Boys. <laughs> Good lord. Dar's bathwater buddies. Oh, there we go! <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I'm just picturing it's just a group photo, and it's just like there's a rubber ducky in the bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're all wearing like a fucking inner tube with our shirts off and like <laughs> swim shorts. Yeah, with goggles. I can't oh, wait. We're not standing around a pool, we're standing around a tub. And a shitty one at that. I can't wait for the beach episode. Oh my god. Yuck's yeah. first got his snorkel on his head. It's, it's either the beach episode or the sauna episode. We're going to have to go full anime. Or the spa episode. Oh man. I just imagine yeah, giving, giving... Hot spring. 
Yeah, hot and, spring. And yeah. Seymour, and Seymour is holding up a sign that says "Subscribe to my OnlyFans." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Walk with a surfer's accent. Those some sick webs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> with his long blonde hair, long wig, like I should say. <laughs> just, oh, I just like, I just have the idea of him just, just saying to fucking Dart, just like, you want to catch some sick webs, bro? <laughs> <laughs> And this Fabio music's really good. I'm really excited to find out what's what actual licensed music the YouTube algorithm thinks it is. <laughs> yes, I <laughs> the, I have another version with guitar that was playing earlier, but for some reason it's not playing now. I don't know why. Nickelback has flagged your <laughs> video. Oh yeah. We should have an 8-bit version of, for, uh, uh, of photographs on here. Yeah. YouTube, how, YouTube, how'd you even get to this connection? This <laughs> sounds nothing alike. Welcome back, Caitlin. Welcome back, Caitlin. Apple, Apple Source Crusaders is apparently the front runner for your name. Oh. Oh lord. I'm on the team. Well, there's also the other option I put out, the direct. Or I Dar's would rather Dar's bath, wa Dar's bath, the water buddies. No. Yeah, that Dar's bath, water buddies. None of these I, I I came up with were approved, so you don't have to blame me. Oh, I blame you, fucker. Bobbin for apples in bath water. That's another name. <laughs> <laughs> I did uh, specifically say to everyone, there's no rush for a name. The uh, the only time limit on the name is that you need to give the name to get the p the money, so you can yeah. go, gear up, fight the fight, kill the things, take the heads, come back. You can even hand over the evidence of the heads, and just say like, listen, we've done it. Here's your evidence, but we're not quite ready for the payment yet. That's up to you. Applesauce Crusaders just feels weirdly right. After everything that's happened, it feels just prescient. I actually more went in one part, probably. The apple is your fate. Oh, yeah. It is the sun that guides us, it is our immortal compass. <laughs> I just what wants to beat Dar's ass so bad. It, she wants to so bad. Oh yeah. Like that and, on a, and on a certain level, he wants it too. Oh. Hmm. Does this impact your decision? <laughs> to a degree, but she still wants to beat his ass. It's worth it. Okay. Think of it this way, if he lets out even a soft, oh, you can <laughs> drag him for that for years. I could do that anyway. Yeah. He gives enough material on a daily basis. Yeah. Hell, this episode alone proves it. Yeah, but that's a particularly prescient one. Potent. Distilled. I still can't believe you don't have any fire spells, damn it! I mean, he's a Why warlock. Would he wouldn't. Do D and D warlocks not have fire spells? The only the fiend warlock. Like, if you're a fiend, if you're a warlock with the master of the fiend, yeah. But most of the others don't. Shit, I didn't know that. An eldritch blast is force damage, not fire. Yeah, I know it's force damage. I so don't have fire spells, I have a fucking ice armor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have ice armor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All I can say is you're fucking lucky the um, Wilk rolled high enough to get that, because you could have been fucked if you didn't. Uh, Which one? Which roll? The, the history. history. The history check, yeah. 
Why don't I remember what that was for? Don't worry about it then. <laughs> oh, okay. But you'll see. You'll see. Alright, I'm gonna go. Wait, you've got creative. Well, elements. no, you probably don't have that cantrip. Damn you! Alright, so right just back. grab some. Just grab some. Some. Some sticks. Start making fire. I mean, that I, way. like I said, I was coming up with fucking. Uh, model tough cocktails there. There are a bunch of options that you can do. Yeah. Ah, but but with the model tough cocktail, you still need fire to set fire to it. Well, you need like a flint and such, yeah. Yeah. Or other things. There are other things that you can use for fire for it. Yeah. But at least it would be like a throwable source of fire. True. You want burn without being up close and personal? I take it. Ah, what's in Sierra's fighting style? Hmm, I wonder. I mean, here's the thing. I am fire resistant. I mean, I could probably do better than you. So but here's what we're gonna do. I would still do. like to keep my ass back from it. We are gonna have you be the burning woman. Because you'll be on fire the entire time, and you'll just bull rush through them. They can't take it. Other idea. How much fire damage would I check take from that? Remember, we had this conversation with Carter. I think we said it was being negated. Wait, wait, wait. What, what, what? Say that again? Uh, if they turned me into a burning woman. You would still take damage. You'd just be resi You're resistant That's to fire. That's what I thought. So you would just take half damage? So mm. it would probably be a d6 worth of fire damage every round. And you would just take half of that. Well, that's not as bad, especially if I had someone healing me. But we only have one other healer now! Cause someone sucked! I'm stuck up on cookies. Just eat them as you keep burning. That way you'll regain health. Shush, Festus. Time to fight some ogres and goblins. Not, not goblins, ogres and trolls. Ogres and trolls, yeah. And she excited. Our first, she really just wants to fight him so bad, man. <laughs> Fucking bathed in her bath water, you yeah, sick Yeah, it was great, because he, he didn't think to do a perception roll. He didn't think to ask. He didn't know that she had had a bath, so he didn't know that it was her water. It was just like, it was just a clusterfuck of this is going to be great. Like, she just so wants to beat the ass. And not only that, he keeps calling her Nerestein! <laughs> Such an ass to her, he can't even get her name right. I will say, if he follows that floor long enough, I will allow him to have his point of strength back. The only problem with that one, Fabio track, is it's super fucking relaxing. <laughs> Thing, it, it wants me to go to sleep. Like, like it feels like it would be like one of those match three games. Yeah. Because there's another. I have another version of the track. Let me see if it will want to play. For some reason, it's not wanting to play. But it's a similar tune, except it's a bit more up tempo with guitars. And that's less like calm, relaxy kind of um, vibe. It's more of like an up tempo vibe. But for some reason, it's not letting me play that at the moment. I'm probably going to have to re upload it to Roll20. But um, it just kind of sucks. But... Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. I think we're just waiting for Devin to come back, and then that's everyone. That son of a bitch. I love how Shadow uh, completely fucked up the tree praying thing. I just want to strangle him. 
Does God pray to Mother Nature and the corpses? Much as me. Hey, y'all made that a thing. Y'all chose to make that bad thing. He he made it a thing. No. We just ran with it. No. No, 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 no. We made it a thing. He just dug the grave a little bit deeper. All oh, right. What are we talk? Right. So everybody's back. So wonderful, fantastic. Oh, everybody's back. Shit. Amazing. So you have just spoke to Captain Lynn. Is, is is am I am I still here? Did my my freak out when I moved it? No, no, you're still here. Oh, no, you good. Okay. Good. So, you have just spoken to Captain Lin. While things are a little bit rocky, especially with the whole disguised self situation, she has calmed down a bit. She has told you that there is a mission, a quest that the town is looking to have completed, and as well as some monetary gain by doing it, you might help reestablish a bit more of a um uh, a, a repertoire. Working, uh, working relationship. Yeah, you will improve your working relationship. That uh, quest is that not too far from the town near some of the mountains, there appears to be a cave. In that cave there are some ogres and some trolls and that um, she sent a girl... They want us out of the swamp. She, yeah, exactly. She uh, sent a pair of guards to go and try and deal with it. But sadly, the two guards were killed. Um, she can't afford to send any more of her guards in case they die. But they're willing to put money down uh, for a group of adventurers that are willing to go and do it. Uh, in remembering that uh, he has had information about trolls before, um, Wilk uh, remembered that he was told to always take fire when dealing with trolls. Um he did explain to the group that they should take fire with them, uh, to which the group considered maybe making some kind of Molotov cocktail um, or possible other ideas. They also have in the very back of their mind that in order to get the money, they need to put down an adventuring guild name. Uh, uh, the main one that was thrown out in jest, but probably quite truthful by the character, was the... Was it? It wasn't Apple Sauce. Was it Apple Cheat Crusaders that you actually? I I, I, I think I think it was Apple Sauce. <sighs> no, it was, I said uh, it was Apple Dumpling. Crusaders. Apple Dumpling. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was thrown out in jest, but no one really had any other ideas. The group decided they would work on it later. You did kind of mention maybe looking for the trader. Um, maybe looking for a place to buy stuff in town, and that's where we resume. So. Continue my playthings. Jesus. Oh. oh. <laughs> is, is, this, is this your tag? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> wrong. Oh no. D and D all was a tag all along. <laughs> all tags are precious? Question. So, so yeah. Oh, what, look at shadow. What, so what do you what do you guys do? Who do you guys speak to? What do you do? Well, in, uh, in an effort to oh. make this go a little fast, why don't we split up and divvy out duties? Some of us go get the Molotovs or the, you know, the, the alcohol for such things, and the rest of us, wherever we want to split things up, go and uh, check out some of the shops and see if they have anything useful. Not uh, we have a lot of money, bear in mind, but we can always check. I want someone to babysit Dar. <sighs> Audio. Not it. Not it. Oh, no. <laughs> Wilk. No! The Wilk and Dar Show, everybody. Do you wear any torches in the cart? Since it was a a war cart? It was not a war cart. Yeah, why do you think it was a war cart? I'm curious. Trader caravan. Trader caravan. Trader caravan. Trader caravan. Trader caravan. These are very different things. It, 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 and Sarah's just gonna go fucking hell. This is the worst option, but Dark, come I, with me. I head downstairs. But you didn't lose. Why would you all? Oh. Because <laughs> Wilk, as much as I love him, is going to be an in interesting situation anyway. Pairing him with Dar, he, 
Walt's gonna have his way with Dar. Oh, what? that scares me. Oh. Uh, uh, so are, are, are me and Wilk left? Yeah. Where's Wilk left? Where are all that's left? Right. Uh, so, um. You have to, you have to, you have to go check out some shops. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> I would like. He fucking, he fucking Scott Pilgrim down the window! <laughs> just, just, for, just for my clarity of purpose to make things easier for me, um, can I please be told who is going where and with whom? Ooh, I me. am going to the bar to ask for the cheapest bottled alcohol. Please. So, I I, are you I asking suppose. for the cheapest bottle of alcohol, or are you asking for the cheapest bottle of flammable alcohol? Flammable Fuck. alcohol. Okay. Uh, the bartender looks at you and he goes, "You're not gonna try to set fire to my bar, are you?" <laughs> if I wanted to set fire to it, it would already be set fire to. Oh! I don't think that's the tag. That's not. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't fill me. With uh, good feelings, lass. I'm saying if if the anti magic field didn't stop me from coming in, and I continued to come in, and I paid for a room, <clears throat> and I continued to pay for services, I have no intentions of burning your bar down. Okay. Uh. Uh. I got some bottles. Uh. Some. Um... Uh, goblin vodka. I mean, that could work. That's flammable. Okay. Because we we have been tasked to go take care of some things and fire good. Okay. So we're looking for the cheapest way to spread fire. I mean, if you're buying my alcohol, uh, like I said, I got some goblin vodka that comes in. How Reasonable size bottles, and that's a uh, gold per bottle. So, um, I will. How many bottles do you have? Uh, hold on. He steps back, and you see that there's these big two kind of uh, cabinets of alcohol. Uh, and he opens it up, and he looks, and he goes, "I got four. Uh, I will take all four. Okay. You see, he's still a bit wary. Like, he doesn't <laughs> think you're going to set the, fu the bar on fire anymore, but he is still a bit wary about someone coming up and saying, hey, you got any flammable alcohol? Like, mm. It's for, Cap for a thing for Captain Lynn. And he comes up to you, and he puts all four bottles. Now, these aren't big bottles. These aren't big bottles of vodka. These are like a beer bottle. But I it's goblin that. vodka. Yeah, I set the four gold down. He takes the four gold. I, I take the bottles and I proceed to put them in my pack. Please add four bottles of goblin vodka to your equipment. Ooh. I also uh, ask him uh, if there is a Fletcher around here that I could possibly buy some arrows from. Hey, uh, well, um, directly across the road, uh, the blacksmith, uh, if you go to him, he'll probably have some arrows for you. Okay. I mean, the general uh, store might have some as well, but to be honest, I'd probably go to the blacksmith. Okay. I, I thank him, and I make my way on out. Okay, okay. <gasps> and Sarah's gonna make her way out and tell Dar three steps behind me at all times. Nice. And don't yes. look at my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I on my way out I actually look for uh Captain Lynn. Uh so where have I actually put Captain Lynn? That's She's point. north of the tree. She's north of the tree. Yep, so you will see that she's over by the tree. She's um, inspecting it, kind of mournfully looking at the bodies. I make my way over to her. 
um, she will see you and she will turn and says, Oh, yes, did you have any more questions or anything? Uh, no questions, but there is one thing you should be aware of. <sighs> and I'm coming to you and telling you this willingly. Well, I'd, it's better than me finding out spare of the moment. You're right. I figured there's already two strikes against me. I don't want a third. So, if you would prefer to to be told this privately, or do you want this publicly? Well, just tell me whatever it is now, just so I can adjust to it. There may come a time where I will show up as a the opposite gender. I see. Um, uh, would it be right for me to just assume drow things? Not necessarily drow things. This is more because Coralon is an asshole. I'm and just going to consider drow asshole. things. Sure, you do that. <laughs> Why would you but, know a drow god? <laughs> Lolf is a pretty well known. Yeah, Lolf is well known enough that she would know. Oh. Yeah. Okay, uh, are we going to talk to Seymour? No. Caitlin? Why would you talk no, to Seymour? Oh, yeah. ooh, yeah, ooh. Sorry, 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 what? Oh, god. <laughs> Can't tell the difference between a crab and a traitor. <laughs> no, no, he no, he was talking about hoot. So he can't tell the difference between a crab and an owl. Oh my fucking god, <laughs> it's so <laughs> The she jokes broke. write themselves. I, 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 <laughs> I am, you, I can't you can't write scripts this good. You really can't. Oh, can't <laughs> tell the the difference. Women, women and now animals. And men. <laughs> uh, women. No, 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 no. It's near, oh, hold on, hold on. Neristine no. and Insira. No, 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 no. It's can't tell the difference between women and men. Can't tell the difference between women and women. Can't tell the difference between owls and, and crabs. And owls and crabs. Boy, the Darlogs is going to be long I, tonight. I, I'm having a... <laughs> <laughs> I, do you want our characters to speak with hoot or just go uh, straight to the street? Oh, uh, drink your bath water. <laughs> <laughs> Eight glasses a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> uh, uh, toasted like the great Gatsby. We don't have anything to discuss with hoot yet, so let's. We should inform him. Okay. In a minute, when we get done with everything. Okay, damn. I'll just say he's right here. Take care of it now. Three steps, I said. Yes, yes. Or I can move in front of you. Where where, where would the traders be, Hex? So, who are you going? To the traders or to the blacksmith? The trader, because uh, we wanted to tell the guy who wanted to give us a mission that we were going to go out for a mission for the town, and we'd be back, and then we'd take his. Well, actually, you haven't asked anyone where it is. So, you know that there's two big buildings. There's a building here, and there's a building here. So, unless you ask someone, it's going to be one of those two buildings. Uh, I'm going to go down to the guard and ask. The guard sees really, you, uh... and he goes, Hail, what may I do for you? Uh, which way to the traders, sir? Uh, the traders is the top building over there. If you're looking for the blacksmith, it's this building in front of you. Thank you very much. I was like, thought, man, well, we're going to do that part. I, I really hope... Wait, do you want to do that the, part? I really hope... I, I, I just, I just assumed that anyway. we were doing the trading part. Okay, Wilk, okay, Wilk and one can do the traders. And Sir and Dar are going to do something else. Oh, no. Tell, tell Dar the opposite locations. Off we go. No. <sighs> Come on, Dar. Uh, I guess it's just you and me. We have to go check out the traders. <clears throat> no one's a traitor, though. 
<laughs> God damn it, I was waiting I, for it. I, I was, was waiting, waiting for, for someone. <laughs> I was waiting. <laughs> I'm surprised it took this fucking long. Let let Wilkin Wall do let let Wilk Wall and Jaxbar do their shit first. Then me and hey. Darley. Yeah. Okay. Me and Darley leave town for a few. So okay. Will Fuck you. Will Quone and Yaxbar. Um you do not know which one's the traders and you do not know which one's the blacksmith. Unless you want to ask yeah. or find yeah, out so we'll, we'll the do, fun we'll way. Do, we will uh let's find out the fun way. Okay. I say let's let's just go inside and see what happens. Let's go. Let's party! So, as you enter this building, you have incorrectly guessed that this is the, in fact, the blacksmith. You see two figures. There's this big hulking, like, Viking-esque fellow. And he appears to be talking to this stouty dwarf. You can tell straight away he's a dwarf. Whoa! He's not, he's not got a top on, Ooh. he's got quite long hair, he's got a bandana around his head. Um... He's, he, he, he's, that looks that looks like a man who could top shadow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. A man looks like a man who could top shadow. Moving <laughs> on, um, you can see that he's you can see that he's hard at work on the forge, the anvil, right in front of him. He's 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 hard at work, pounding away at something, and the the guy who uh, looks Viking esque is kind of there watching him. Well, whispers the Yaxper, look at him. He's pounding away at his hopes and dreams. <laughs> but do you know what? I think I think he's going to find them one day. I really believe in him. Just but keep keep pounding. The dwarf looks up at you and he goes, Alright, how can I help you? Oh hello. Um I don't think this is the place we wanted to end up at, but uh um could you give us directions to the trading post? The uh, traders are the next shop right up. This is the blacksmith. Thank you very much. We'll be on our way. But maybe we'll end up back here at some point. You have a good day, sir. You too, stranger. If, before Welk leaves, he says, You sir are beautiful. Keep doing your doing. Thank you, big rock man. <laughs> And yep, yeah, I will. All right. As you go I into here. Try this one. Bing. So sure enough, you do see that this is in fact the traders, as you were said. This is more general goods. You see your friend Trevor the trader is over there looking through some of the goods. And then behind, uh, behind the uh, a very short table is this dwarven woman who is looking through some of her own goods and every now and then you notice is looking over at what Trevor is doing. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Um, Interesting indeed. Hello. Oh, hello, says the woman, uh, the dwarven woman. Um, we were just wondering, because uh, we have to go out on a bit of an expedition. If you had any help for fighting uh, trolls or oh, ogres. We don't sell weapons here, lads. You want to go to the blacksmith for weapons. Uh, mm. Also, talk to Trevor. We should probably talk to him about that. Hello. Oh, uh, the hell? Again. Oh, wait, I don't have to worry about doing the voice in here. Oh, hello, how you doing, mate? Oh, hello again. Um, we were wondering if you had any information on what would be a good place to go in order to find uh, implements to, you know, deal with trolls or ogres. Well, I mean, if you're looking for swords, you want to go to the blacksmith. Mm. Do, you, do you know anything where we could get anything, like, that could help with, like, fire? I don't know if that's something we could necessarily get there. Well, I mean, do you have any torches, lad? Uh, no. Could we buy some here, or do you think they'd be over there? Oh, no, no, no. This is the general goods store. And you, you actually, by looking at him, you actually see what he's doing. He's got, like, a, a long scroll in his hand, and he's got a quill, and it, it kind of looks like he's doing, like, an inventory 
or like a checklist of their goods. Sorry. That, that's fine. You can see that he's doing like an inventory or like a checklisting of their goods. And he goes, oh, no, yeah, we, this, the, the, inven, the inventory states that this place has um, uh, does sell torches. It's, uh, it's not really something a blacksmith will sell. Uh, this like torches, general goods. Uh, for stuff like swords and armor, that's where you want your blacksmith, mate. Well, perhaps when we have more money, we might go for the blacksmith for like new implements. But we're running a little dry right now. How much would some torches go? You know that I don't actually run this store, right? The the woman behind the counter is the person you want I, to speak to. I I you know just a guess, but yeah. I'll, uh, Let's I'll talk to the woman. To mention we're yeah. going out of town and we'll do the mission for him later. Can you tell that Yaxper has social anxiety? You're <laughs> <laughs> uh, the one who wanted to go to this. Yeah, well, let on him, a certain level, let him maybe do. it's both. Maybe, maybe on a certain level, maybe it's both of us. Maybe it's working out really well for me. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yet you approach the lady. Do you, do you say never, anything? never have to worry about this to Grimnak. Tell never, you that much. Never, to smash. Exactly. Uh, hello again. Um, how oh. much do torches cost? Generally? Oh, oh, hello, laddie. Uh, torches. Uh, a single torch will set you back two copper pieces. Oh my! Oh, I think most of us actually own. It. It's more than just the two of us in our group. Um. I think most of us just have regular gold pieces. Do you have, like, you know, can, is, would that be all right? Do you have money to exchange? How much would uh, one gold get us for torches? Uh, um, oh, yeah, actually, what does one gold get us? How many torches is one gold? That would uh, that would get you a hundred torches, but I don't... I don't That's have a hundred torches it is! <laughs> I, uh, I, I... <laughs> before... Uh, before before your stone faced friend uh, said that, I was gonna say to you, um, I've actually only got seven in at the moment, so you, I, you know you, you you know what, that'll be just fine. Seven that tor works. Seven torches for a goal. Yeah, yeah. I know it's a little ridiculous, but you know, I'm weird so times. rich. I'm swimming in gold. I am. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't be saying that out loud, laddie, just in case anyone, especially if you, you get, if you get in range of any of the Northmen, they may try to take it from you. You, you, you know what? Let's just say we'll be generous. Seven torches keep the change. Uh, do, do you not have any silver? M on, on myself, no. But you know, uh, he has quite a few gold pieces. I will I let have, him make his decision with his money. I have enough. And what I mean enough, I mean maybe too much. I know I'm saying this out loud, but I can't help it because I'm so rich. <laughs> look, look, shut the hell up. Shut the hell up right now. I, I don't know. Uh, do me a favor, Devin, roll perception. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean... I caught that. Okay. You caught it, but does Yaxper catch it? That's the question. Yeah, that's the question. Okay, perception. No, you fucking don't. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. Don't see a fucking thing. No. Nope. The, the hair is so impressive. He, yep. It just blocks all his 2020 vision. So, um, the woman will say to you, well, hold, hold on, hold on. Let's see. Is there anything else you've been trying to buy? Because maybe if you get it all together, it might come to a gold. And then you won't have to worry you know about overspending. That's a fair point. How about this? What do you have in stock? Just generally. Uh, well, See if there's anything else we can grab. We are, we are more of a general goods store. We don't That's really fine. carry any like weapons or such. Uh, I've, got some clo right. I've got some clothing. I've got containers. Healing potions. I've got containers. Really? I might have some arrows lying around, but if I'm honest, you'll probably want to go to the blacksmith for uh, for that. Uh, we might what, have. What was some... the second? What, what was the second thing she said? So she had. So she had, she said clothing. Uh, she she said that they might have some um, uh, arrows lying around. Um, mm. 
uh, we, we carry like uh, we got some rope, uh, torches, uh, whetstones, tents, uh, uh, some uh, plain empty spell books so that you can write your spells in. Uh, uh, oh, some hmm. rat. How much, are, how, how, how much are those? Oh, a spell book? Uh, that's a, a very specific item, sir. That's uh, 55 gold. Oh. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be that cheap. That's fine. It's okay. it, it, it's it's got to be well bound, you see, sir, so that all your spells yes. can be correct. Uh, oh yeah. We have. Oh uh, yeah. I I totally guess where you're coming from. We I have locks. Where. We have magnifying glasses, hammers, grappling hooks, crowbars. Oh, oh, gra grappling hooks can't be cheap. Uh, d let me check my book. I don't. Uh, I, I, you don't normally get people buying stuff like grappling hooks. Uh, it's yeah, more for it's a very it's, specific thing. Yeah, it's, it's more for if folks want to go into the mountains. But really, those kind of folks tend to have had theirs for a long time and take care of it. Uh, a grappling hook will set you back uh, uh, six gold. Uh, we hmm. have ink. We have quills. That's actually, that's, actually, that's actually a lot less than I thought it'd be. We we have ink. We have quills. I think I may have uh, some herbalism kits uh, lying around mm. somewhere. Um, I know we had some old spider poison lying around as well. Uh, did, did you mention healing potions at any point? Or um, we we, we do we do carry some healing potions, but what you got to understand is that they're quite expensive, and um, mm, well, you course. see. Uh, uh, so our shipment, well, uh, and she looks over at Trevor. We, well, you, you may understand what happened to some of our shipment. Uh, I'm aware that you oh. were involved in Trevor's business, so. Oh. Oh yes, yes. Um, we have water skins, uh, uh ball bearings. Uh, I think I may have a holy water flask lying around somewhere. Maybe some That's acid. Acid's pretty good. We may have some old acid vials lying around from I, when an alchemist I, I, came I, through. Uh, keep going, and he tosses six gold on the counter. But I do want that grappling hook. I'm I'm very interested in that. Okay, I'll, then. grappling hook coming up, sir. I'll take two magnifying glasses. You you want the magnifying glasses, sir? That's uh, yes. That's. Rather strange. It's almost as if you instantly knew what our store had. Like you looked up some kind of magical list of our goods. Perhaps on some kind of <laughs> world wide web. <laughs> no, no way. I had access to no such thing as the a uh, single uh, drop of sweat poured off of books. Bro. Well, okay, sir. If you would like two magnifying glasses, that's 200 gold. I, there, I, I'll I'm put it on better way. I, I, I'm actually really happy at the idea that Wilk heard all of that and zeroed in on magnifying glasses. <laughs> uh, we also we also sell lanterns, uh, manacles, uh, paper, candles, books like plain books, non spell books. You mind? It won't go do good to keep your spells in, but like a journal or such, it'll be fine. Hmm. Ah, I feel like I. Did leave mine behind. Starting another one wouldn't be too bad. How much are those? Uh, just for a normal book, uh, not for a spell book, mind. You wouldn't be good for writing spells. That's twenty-five gold. Mm. Perhaps I'll try that again when I have a little more. Uh, we sell chains as well. If you ever need some chains, we're always running low on chains. Isn't that right? Got a couple of I, ladders. I, you, can, you can never have enough chains. If you're looking to write something down and you can't quite afford a book, I do have some spare sheets of parchment. Mm. Well, we need a pen or a quill. We do sell oh, I, those I, as I, well. I, I, I actually do have a quill. Remember, I got one, but I looked back, back. We do sell ink. Hmm, well... Mm. How you much have all that. It's uh, 10 gold for a pot. A pot will probably mm. last you two free pages, to be honest. 
two pages. I mean, if you write really small, you yeah. cover both sides of the page. I'm I'm at seven gold right now, so unless Wilk wants to help me out, I think I'm out of luck on that one. So I know you want to buy the grappling hook. Uh, oh yes. And I know you wanted torches. Was there anything else that you wanted? I think we should. Well, we we may come back with our friends later, and they may have some other needs. Uh, I will make sure to let them know how helpful you were. Uh, Hold but on. I think for now. Oh, yes. Hold on. How much is the herbal remedies? The the herbalism kit. Uh, I think I've got it lying in the book. I I, I need to go and find it, but uh, it'll set you back about ten, ten fifteen gold. If it's the only one I've got, I have to sell it for higher price, so I'd probably have to sell it to you for 15 to be honest. 15 Can I uh, commit you to lower down the price of it? No. Oh, the heck of it. <laughs> and she leans in and she I goes, see. she leans in and she goes, all right, I'm going to, you seem like nice folk, and I know what you you did for Trevor. Um, Have you noticed something about the, tell me, have you been to the forge? So been to the what? The forge, the blacksmith lad. Oh yes, we've been yes, there briefly. We, we, uh, we uh, actually, yeah. For, what for what a what kind of person was running the forge? Uh, a, a dwarven fellow. And and I'm assuming since I know that Trevor paid for you to stay there. You know who runs the inn that you're staying in, right? Oh. Um, they are related, I assume? N- no, no, fair? no. You're, you're not getting it, laddie. Uh, d- no, I'm not. What, what do all of those people have in common? Well, help me out with this. I need some wisdom. <laughs> Isn't that the dwarves? Y- yes, I kind of thought you would get it more than him, but okay. Oh, the, oh, wait, the, oh, just the dead dwarf? Oh, the, I there was the, They're all dwarves, laddie. Dwarves don't take kindly that, to oh. you. Dwarves don't take kindly to you trying to bargain them. Uh, if you oh. d- if you try to get a better price on something, nine times out of ten, you're probably just going to be told no. Good to know. This is new information for me. Ah, uh, dwarves, elves, can't get shit around here. Well, well, go and take it. So I got your, I I I got your your grappling hook. Uh, you know this doesn't oh, come, uh, you know this doesn't come with a rope, right? You got to buy that separately. Oh, that's how they get you. Huh? Okay. Well, I'll keep that in mind. How much is the rope for later? Final. Fifty feet of hemp and rope is one gold. Oh, whatever. Then toss another gold on the table. There you go. Okay, and then she she, she hurries and she grabs a a, 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 a a a set of rope and puts it down and goes. Okay, so you got one set of rope, one grappling hook. Uh, she sets out the the seven torches that she has, and and, and seven torches. Um. Really, that should come to about uh, seven se- seven gold and a couple of silver, but um, you put down eight gold. Uh, but is there anything else that, that you want right now? That Snickers bar. I that's think. not for sale. That's mine. That's my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> can, I have, can I have you for that Snickers bar? Uh, no. Well, no. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can no I more. can I ask? No this is a a strange collection of goods. Uh, w- w- what do you need this for? General adventuring, but we've also been hired by the town to go take care of some uh, thralls and ogres. We're having a very exciting game of jump rope. See, why didn't you just start with that, laddie? I could tell you exactly what you need. If you're gonna fight thralls, they don't like fire, so your torches—they're a good start. But really. You want something like this, and she takes out a small metal flask oh. and places it on the on the table. Did, did we not? Did we not lead with that though? No, you fucking didn't. <laughs> um, <laughs> she she places a little flask on the on the table and goes, "This is a flask of oil, boy." Oh, 
How much is that? Let me check my book. A flask of oil will cost you one gold. Oh. Wow, that felt like you were building up to a bigger number than that. Yeah, okay. Here we go. It's, uh, it's a shame you came when you did. If, you had, uh, if I'd have had uh, Trevor's, uh, Trevor's uh, inventory update, I could have had something called alchemy fire, but uh, I'm afraid oh. I don't have any of that. Oh, that's a shame. That's unfortunate, but you know, you live and learn. Um, so I'm assuming that you're you, you you're gonna be able to use this oil. Like you understand how you can use it to fight trolls, right? Of course. Do you want to maybe tell me so that I can know if you're actually understand? <laughs> 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 Maybe yes. I should have let Dark. <laughs> no, never mind, because no, the dwarf no. is female. Yeah. Oh no, god no, damn it. That, but could you <laughs> could you trust Dar and Wilk in this situation? Oh no, that would have been worse. <laughs> oh hell worse. no. It would have been worse. You wouldn't have even gotten that far. Want with Purple Z stole something and used his blackmail against Dar. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, fuck you, Dar. That would have been the fucking worst. So, oh, okay. Jesus God, so, Almighty! So, so, buddy, do, do, do you do you know how you can use this, or? Okay, okay full disclosure. I assumed one of my friends would know. <laughs> she looks at uh, 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 um, at uh, Trevor. I, 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 I know. I, I do, get it. Do either of you speak me. Dwarvish? No. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. Let me double check that. No. Okay. No. She says something to him in Dwarvish. He says something back. She He chuckles lightly. And, and then they look back at you and they go, uh, uh, All right. Um, just, uh, just remember that, you know, fire is good against the dwar uh, against the trolls. It, 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 it'll help. It'll help bring them down. Uh, the torches are good. You can maybe, you know, I don't know, set fire to some arrows before you shoot them. Always a good idea. Did you that not? I would. Did you not maybe consider that, lad? I'm not really an arrow person, but we do have an arrow person there that uh, you know would know what to do. I'm just going to dip my club into the flask like I'm dipping my apple slices into some caramel. I mean, <laughs> you could technically just set fire to your club. I was going to do that as the next step. I mean, we should probably wait until we're out of the store for that one. Out of the town, really. Right, so you got your seven, your seven torches, your grappling hook, your rope, your flask of oil, now, I will say I have to look for the, the herbalism kit. So, I can't sell that to you now, obviously. So, so far, this comes to about seven gold. Uh, now, before I, I give this to you, is there anything else that you want? Um, I think if we end up coming back, it'll be with the needs and desires of our friends. That's so I think totally for fine. the two of us, I think for the two of us, we're about good. Thank okay. you very much for being patient with me. I know this was obviously a little difficult. That's okay. Trevor's a good friend of mine. He, you, you helped him out. So I have to help you out at least a little bit. You understand? Well, I appreciate that very much. Uh, thank you very much for the help. I scoop everything off the table. Uh, how big is this pot? With the oil, it's very small. It's like, it's like a drink flask, you know, like an alcohol flask. Okay. It's like uh, one of those, it's like a hip flask. That's the word I was looking for. It's a hip flask of alcohol. So uh, I, of, I, of, I, of oil. I stuff my grappling hook into my bag, uh, and I, I uh, <laughs> stuff into the flask. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I, I ask Wilk if uh, would you, uh, would you like to carry the oil flask? Well, absolutely. All right. Good. Mark said, welcome in a very 
specific way, and looks like, no, I'm not going to drink it this time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, I grab the grappling hook, and uh, Will grabs all the stuff that personally interested him, and I think we'll head out. Uh, real, real quick, uh, go through the list, because uh, I'm going to put it in my... So episode. you have... Put down flask. You have seven torches. Seven torches, okay. Um, you have one hip flask of oil. Okay. And he would have the 50 feet of hemp and rope and a grappling hook. Oh, yeah. I, I have grappling hook and rope. And, uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, I should put 50 feet, shouldn't I? Yeah. Um, and that's everything. She said she's going to look for the herbalism kit because she doesn't know if she has it. She needs to look to see if they still have it. I have seven torches in my thing for now, even though I'll probably dole them out. Okay. All right, uh, and then I guess we'll head out. All right. Not going anywhere for a while. Grab a Snickers, and then he darts out. As as <laughs> you leave, you don't quite hear it, but as you leave, she looks at Trevor and go, "They're gonna fucking die, aren't they?" Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that was the uh, man, adventures man, man. of. Then, go, go ahead. No, no, go on, go on, go on, go on. Man, shopping is exhausting. No wonder I don't do that. So we have had the uh, the fun of Wilk, Won't, and Yaxpa. Um, we've had Neristine kind of being more open and honest with Captain Lin. Uh, I know that there was another team, the... The Da and Insira experience. So let's let's sort out what's happening with them. Insira's gonna lead Dar out of town. Okay. Uh, does Da what, what, a, what a shoot him? Does Da follow? Is a good question. <laughs> da. Stupid, of course follow. Da. So what do you do want? You follow. I Dar asks, where are we? What are we going out of town for? You might as well have oh, said the same thing. Oh, he's like, I don't think so. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> okay, you know what? We're ending this right here and now. We can save this for later. I'm going to go make sure the group's ready. Oh my god. Is, is he, are they going to fucking draw their swords? <laughs> Duh, the back downing. <laughs> On the outside, please. Listen. Because I don't want to get... Oh, I come on! Shadow. I love that she shadow. She actually I just can. cowered out. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's go. Alright, let's go. <laughs> no, no, you walked away! No, you no, coward. Coward. Live with Thank it! You. Live with it, coward! No, no, you, 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 you said no to the peer pressure. You keep saying no to the peer pressure. You cowered out. No, here, 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 here's the thing. He wanted this as badly as I did for a while. I'm yeah, falling until, it. until it was actually, actually time. Able. They're gonna yeah, have their sick. Think, they, 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 she wanted to have her sick anime fight, and you didn't want nothing, none of it. I thought you we don't get it. I thought we came at a better time, but okay, fine. Let's no, go. no, 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 no. I'm gonna overrule. You chose that Dar was gonna back down. Dar's backing no, down. What? Oh, come on. No, Let's no, go. Dar. Dar said no, so Dar says no. Yeah, we're already here. We're already here. Two, two. No, you left, motherfucker. Get gone! Get the fuck out of here! God, you made a choice. Live with it. Live Out with of the it. tutorial, <laughs> motherfucker! <laughs> Damn it! Look, let him settle it. Come on, no. at least somewhat. No. Hey, 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 Caitlin. There will be plenty of chances, uh, but on this <laughs> one, he cowered it out. And you can use that next time. Yeah. Be like, oh, you're going to fight me this time? Huh? Are you going to run away again? <laughs> I love this because this is the, the, the great thing of D&D group. Is, so, da, da, does sensible thing to help group to ensure the group can complete goals. Group, fucking cowards. Here's the thing. I trust that the rest of the group... Even like Yaxbar and Wilk and Won't and like Nerstein can take care of shit. But this thing, it's just itching to blow. And she'd rather it blow before they go on the mission and fucking settle it, at least to a degree, than when they're in front of trolls and 
uh, ogres, and she just tosses you that. You think it blow, blow that in the air? Oh, man, You're gonna that be short tempered? Fucking fuck the Oxford standing over Dar's corpse. <laughs> no, your flesh, trap! <laughs> That's fucking what it's gonna be! I don't know if Shadow continues to metagame out of situations. I'm not! This is metagaming? Thing. Nerestine, Nerestine okay. looking down oh. at Dar. Nerestine looking down at Dar's corpse. Pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, no, 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 no. So, right, right, right. I'm going to be serious for a second. Right. Yes. Before you knew that this was the fight, you made the choice for Dar to say, no, this is not the time for this. If yes. you suddenly change because you know that it's the fight, oh, yeah, let's go do it. That's metagaming. You yes. okay. suddenly reverting the back down, that's metagaming because that's you saying, oh, no, we're going to fight now. Oh, I'm going to do it because it's going to be a fight. You had Dar stick to this is not the time, this is not the place. Fair, with, fair. with the right. with the character because the the way it works is this. The you then were given player information of oh no, you wanted to ask to do a fight. You weren't given character information. For your character then to change their mind because of player information is metagaming. Okay. I got that now. I, I will Hopefully, remember that better. Thank That's you. fine. All right. That's fine. Sorry about that. Um. All right. Um. I go over to Hoot to inform him what's happening with the group. Oh. And see. Hmm? He goes. Oh, there you are. Hey. Um. Have you had any experience with fighting og ogres and trolls? Oh, trolls! Nasty business. Trolls. Got fire? Uh, we're getting some right now. Uh, hopefully, Wilk and Mo and Mary Nearest will be all. Together. Oh, I'm a fire! <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just want mimicking world. Well, I just want to start if you've got fire, you should be good. Ogres and trolls, they're very nasty, especially if you catch them in groups. Uh, okay. Just try to fend them off as best you can. It's, ogres, don't worry so much about the fire. It's more the trolls that you'll need the fire for. Or acid. Okay, not you don't have any acid, do you? Uh, I think they might sell it in the store here, maybe. No, you don't. You don't know that. You don't know that. Uh, that is. I, don't, I can't. I can't. I can't even make the assumption. No, no, no. He he did say I think they might sell it in a store here, maybe. That is his just guessing. Yeah, but yeah. I think guessing of acid in a general store is a bit too far. If <laughs> I if I said oil, <laughs> if, if I said oil, then yes. If I had said torches, yes. Acid, no. Okay. <laughs> That's okay, not exactly I... something you go down to your local mom and pop to pick up some acid. Acid, well... generally, in purchasing on D&D, &D, acid... What do you mean, well? It... What do you mean, stores... well? In, in, in... stores sell acid? In D&D, &D, acid is generally something you would buy from an alchemist store. This okay. is not an alchemist store. This is a general store. Okay. Uh, don't know, really. Well, I mean, that works just as good as fire on them, but, uh, if you have fire, you, you'll you be fine, you'll be fine. Okay, um, you think you join us, or you're in this tent to floor? No, 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 I'm going to keep an eye on things around here. I've, uh, I've taken a notice that there is some underlying instabilities with some particular groups around here, and I'm concerned that it might get worse. Anything we need to worry about? Well, it seems that there are individuals that live from the mountain that people keep referring to as Northmen. Uh, Northmen, to be exact. Uh, uh, they don't seem to like the place, and they definitely don't seem to like the guards. I'm <clears throat> concerned that it might break out into a bit of a scuffle. Oh, great. Civil unrest amongst the townspeople. This kind of situation tends to happen when you have two groups of people who don't like each other. Uh, great, just like home. Um, Alright, uh, keep an eye out. Let, it know, let us know when we get back if anything gets too rowdy and we need to pull out of town. Of course. I'm going to go and try and grab Hera, see if she can join us and help. I believe she's under that tree speaking to that dwarf. Yeah, she seems to be keeping him company. I think he's a dwarf. Nice 
Yeah, I'll go. I'll go grab her. I'll go check with her. Keep us in touch. See you later. Bye. Uh, as I'm gonna say, while uh, that was happening, and while we were standing over here, I've been resummoning Seymour. Please redo so. Uh, where is he? Did Wilk, Wilk and J J Yaxbar uh, uh, tell Trevor we were going to do his mission later? No. Do I have control? There we go. Now I have control. Yes, uh, now you have control. Oh, oh, buddy. I'm so happy to see you. He leaps into my arms. I give him a big hug. We spin around as dramatic music plays. <laughs> Sunshine pours in from the, from the background as I stare upon my crab lovingly. And no. then I'm like, oh, I'm so happy to see you. I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were going to poof like that. And he's not listening. And he goes to leap straight at Dar. <laughs> well, no! And I try to catch him. And it, Hex will decide if that's a check or if that happens, if I have to roll something. If you're trying, to, try to, stop if you're trying to catch him, roll a dex check. Okay. Dexterity saving throw, to be exact. You take the dodge action, that's fine. Um, right, roll me one single claw attack against <laughs> Dar at disadvantage because, that's he took, that's fine. because he took the dodge action. Got it. Okay. Uh, that's claws over here on this sheet. There we go. Oh, that's a double crit fail. He completely misses. Flew straight by. Dar just ducks down like. Oh gosh. It's, it's, the, it's, 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 it's the single. It's the single most efficient dodge Dar has and ever will pull off. Yes, exactly. Hey, hey, hey. We gotta talk about that. Come here. Come over here. He, he, he uh, kind of walk. He, he kind of crawls back to me dejectedly. Hey, you know what he said. We need to we need to cut that back out, okay? We need to we need to dial that back, all right? Shakes his head. What do you mean no? <laughs> what do you mean no? Uh, it's said no. Right. Uh, in, in Zira, yeah. And Zira's just gonna ask them. Did you guys tell Trevor we'd do his mission later? Uh, I don't. No. No, I don't think so. Uh, take care of that. Okay. And she'll just walk away muttering, fucking Dar will fight a crab, but not me, the little pansy ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know he's in there. No, oh, that's true. She, no, no, I know he's in here. She knows that's, that's a general, she knows that's a general traders, and uh, Trevor did say to come see him in the general traders. The traders yeah. I asked the guard where the traders was. So yeah. On you, bitch. Oh, okay. Uh, she's gonna go to so as, as you enter the dwarven lady says oh hello hi um trevor yes um me and my companions are going to be doing a um little mission for uh lynn and when we get back we'll be able to help you with your mission if that would be okay oh no no i remember i i told you to come and see me in a day or two I, I still I, have I know, my work but to I, do here. I don't know how long this will take, so I wanted to let you know we're not not gonna do it. It's just we're taking care of this first because Lynn said apparently it's being a big problem yeah, for the, for the oh, town. Oh, that's fine. Don't, don't worry about it. I uh, I need to do my job here first. I need to take inventory and stock of the place. So thank you. And then uh, in Sarah's gonna ask. Do you sell like cloth? Oh yes, we do. We sell clothing. You can buy some some clothing if you'd like. What you're looking sure. to buy? Um, basically, I'm looking for some cloth that I could just cut up into several different pieces. Oh, you want the cheapest? Oh, okay. Uh, well, yeah. um, she looks through like the what she has. I've got some just like random common clothes. You can uh, you could probably rip up. One of these pieces into about good five, six strips. That would work. Um, how much? Uh, the set of common clothes would get you back uh, uh, five pieces of silver. 
Okay. And uh, do you have any healing potions? Oh no, I'm I'm afraid we've we've only got one because we were supposed to have gotten uh, some in our, our recent delivery. But uh, well, I I I'm aware that you well you must have been the uh, the 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 tiefling that uh that Trevor was telling me about. So uh, yeah, you're aware. Yeah, that well. Uh, I, I've only got the one, and obviously, because of it only being one, I am a business. It'll set you back a hundred gold. Yeah, definitely for a different time. It, it, the the price will come down when the next batch uh, uh, will come in. So so if you wait until then, it it'll it'll come down a bit. Thank you. Um, I'm trying to think what else we might. We, we we've got rope, right, Hex? Yes. Um, uh, okay. See, she, she would stop and she'd go. Uh, it, it, if you're talking about the the stone man, and the one with the really big forehead, uh, yeah. th th there they came by. They bought all the torches that I had. They bought a Perfect. grappling hook, and uh, they bought some oil. So, so uh, did, that's did, about Do you it. happen to have any flint and steel as well? Uh, we have a whetstone. I don't think we have any flint and steel at the moment, I'm afraid. Uh, how much for a whetstone as well? Uh, let me check my book. A whetstone will set you back a single copper piece. Alright, um... <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> uh, oh, no. And Sierra will say, uh, I'll take both of those. Would you happen to have change? Uh, if not, I understand. If you have a silver piece, I'll have I change have for piece. the silver piece, but not a gold, I'm afraid. Okay, because uh, the whetstone was one bronze, right? Yeah, one bronze, which I believe it's and a hundred. Yeah. And the clothes are how much for silver? Um, it was one silver, wasn't it? Let me double check. Hold on. One silver? Let me just double check. It's either one or five. Um, common clothes, five. Yeah, it's five silver. Five, okay. Yeah, so she doesn't have change for gold. Shit. Uh, what else does she sell, Hex? What do you Sorry. need? Um, i trying to think what else we even need. I know they got rope. Uh, Devin, what what else did you guys get? You got rope, you got, got rope, torches, a grappling oil, hook. Gra oil, grappling hook. Uh, magnifying glasses. No, they didn't buy uh, the magnifying glasses, they were too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If only yeah. That, one did that, well, that one didn't work out. <laughs> I, I wish it did. Ask her if a, she knows any other ways of dealing with trolls. Uh, ask the merchant if she knows anything about trolls. I... Uh, do you have sell food provisions as well? Oh yes, we do. We sell rations. If you would like uh, uh, to buy a couple of rations, we have those. Okay. Uh, how many do you happen to have? Uh, let me go look in uh, look look in my containers. I might have uh, quite a few. So. She uh, mumbles around looking through all the book, uh, through all the, the 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 cases and the chests, and she comes back and says, "Well, I've got about um, at the moment, I've got about uh, twenty days worth of rations." Twenty days worth of rations. How much would that come to? Uh, that would cost you a, about a gold. Okay, that together. Is that with everything or on its own? Oh, no, no, that's just the rations on their own, dearie. Okay. Um, I'll take the rations, I'll take the cloak, I'll take the... Uh, what else was I getting? So you took rations, cloak... Ration, cl clothes... Uh, what else was I getting? Dang it, I just forgot. It was one broad's worth of something. Dang it. Rations, clothes... Whetstone. Whetstone, that was it. Thank you. Uh, uh, do you have any more oil? Uh, I, mm, I think uh, your, your friend bought all of it. Let me have a little oh, look. Okay. And she goes and looks and, and she like comes back and says, Yeah, no, I'm afraid not. 
Uh, that's fine. Uh, I, I believe I, I heard you might sell arrows here as well. How many would you have? Uh, we sell decent arrows. I've got about 40, but if you want actual, like, high-grade arrows, uh, I'd probably go to the blacksmith if I were you. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just, um, do you have any books? Uh, to do uh, uh, plain books or plain books. Ah, uh, yes, yes, we do. We sell uh, we sell empty parchment books. One book will set you back twenty five gold. I'm just gonna give her two gold for the rest of the stuff I give. <laughs> 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 I uh, just please keep the extra. And thank you for your time and your help, especially with my friends. No problem. The rest of your companions seem to be gathering by the hanging tree, so... Yeah, I'll go back. Hanging tree, hanging tree. Um, what Dar does the hanging tree give? Death. Steps up to Hera and says, Hey, um... Group's trying to try and help out the town by taking care of some ogres and trolls. You want to join? If you require me to aid you, I will... I will help you. Thanks. Uh, oh, can, can I hear this? Um, we're out in the open. No, there's not a lot of people in the town. It's about thirty feet. Yeah, yeah. I will. I would say with this circumstance, because it's out in the open, no one's around. There's not a lot of noise. Right. I would suggest that you could hear it. I'm just gonna go to Hera. Hera, you don't have to help us it's if you want to, huh? No, it's fine. I'd rather stay here. It's fine I if you require my assistance. Thank you. Dar comes up to Hera like, yo, bitch, we're gonna go find some shit. Get <laughs> <laughs> he does go about it in like the room. That, that's literally how it seems like he approaches Hera every single time. Every time. So he, uh, she, she places both her hands on the hilts of the two swords that are on either side of, of her, uh, of her uh, belt and goes, okay, so where are we going? To the mountains, it seems. Do you need anything, provisions wise? So. That's a bit generic, isn't it? Just to the mountains. There are loads of mountains that way. We just came yeah. back from some mountains, in fact. We're, we're going to be going nearby to fight trolls and ogres. We've been acquiring stuff that will help us use fire to fight them. Okay, Jen. Wait, but near, near, nearby, but that could mean... We, are, we haven't got a direction yet. Um, we're going to ask them in a bit. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Uh, and Sira's gonna give um, Wilk and Walt, Yaxbar, and Hera. Uh, and she's gonna give them some of the rations. She's gonna give them two each, like two days worth each. Yeah. Two oh. two days worth worth each. She'll also give to Nerestine. I ain't giving you shit. Uh, I have <laughs> it. for damn. I was gonna ask a question. Sheesh. You think, you, you think on some level when when Dar talks to Hera, he's like, "Man, I bet Hera's not gonna want to like sleep with me after this bath." <laughs> <point." It's> like, <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> right. So we have we have dished out our rations. What do we do next, gang? Um, uh, I say let Nerestine check take care of her thing. And then wait for her. Um, I have my kebab back. I am satisfied with life. Uh, hey, Wilk, won't well, you were in the shop? I guess we were. I I was also there, but thanks I anyway. I was I, going to see. I felt like I'm sorry. Yeah, do you want me to was... say your name first every time? You're talking about you literally said Wilk and won't and then ended and the thought and moved on to the topic. I, Motherfucker. You interrupted me. Jesus. No, you can't. You waited no, for his yeah, return. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Anyway. That's right. Fight. <laughs> Fight under the death tree. Ridiculous. <laughs> We're already yeah, talking about this whole way up to the mountain and get the directions. <laughs> but, um, look, you got, you both, you three were in the shop. Did the shopkeep mention anything about acid? Who says it might be a good be using against trolls as well? 
I mean, I, did you know, I, did you I mean, I didn't know about the acid. Why how did you go how, and how, talk to how did you? How did you know about the acid? That's a very specific quote. No, no, no. no. Talked who, who talked to him? Yeah, he did oh, say that. Oh, okay. Yeah, who, Why don't who you go say? to the general store and go ask them for acid? I will. I was just asking if they had any, if you, you got any info about it. I will. I'll go ask the captain about directions first. Then. Oh, God, he's going to talk. As someone who's gotten acid from several vendors, that's not the type of vendor to sell acid. <laughs> Just putting it out there. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, uh, Nerys can go ahead. Uh, I, I don't want to be interrupted again. You, sorry, sorry. Are you I sorry? Step in, I step into the forge and I look around and I notice the two, the two dwarves working away and I approach them and I ask them if by chance they have a ready supply of arrows for sale. The dwarven blacksmith who is finishing up an axe for the big hunking northman uh, looks at you and goes what kind of arrows you want? Uh, arrows for a longbow. Uh, I got plenty of them. Probably got about 400 in one of these barrels. Uh, how much per arrow or per bundle, whichever way you'd prefer to sell them? I sell them in sets of 20. If you want to buy a set of 20, it's two gold. Okay, I will buy three sets. Right, so uh, what do you have? Do you have a quiver? Yeah, probably three sets is too much, isn't it? Yeah, I have yeah. a quiver. Yeah, a quiver will it holds a maximum of twenty. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll just buy one set then. All right. Uh, give me your two gold, and I'll get you some arrows. Okay, I give him the two gold. He um, he walks over to this open crate here. He will take a, a bundle out. They're already actually wrapped together with um some some uh twine string comes over he hands him to you and goes here you go here's your 20 arrows I, t I take the the bundle and I draw the silver scimitar and I tell him that I I found this in a crypt and chances are it is just a silver scimitar but I was wondering if you would be able to give it just a look over and just reaffirm that it is just a silver scimitar I mean I'm gonna be honest with you lass I'm not that good when it comes to magic so I can't really tell you if it's actually got any magical properties okay I'm not a magical forge I'm afraid okay I I thank him for his time and I resheath it and I take the the bundle and I make my way back out. You notice um, as you start to move away, the Northman next to you spits on the ground where you were standing. I pay him no mind. Okay. And I make my way out. And I see everybody gathering up at the tree. And I just think it's really odd that they're at the tree. Hanging tree, hanging tree. <laughs> what does a hanging tree bring? Death. Gosh. <laughs> uh, edit. Where do I want to go? Yeah. Uh, what do I have on me? Hold on a second. Uh, I guess I'll make my way over to them. Considering everybody else is gathering up over here. Do I notice by the, that I'm by, by the, by that the French chemistry? Do I notice that they're gathering up over here? Uh, who? 
these people. Uh, roll me like perception I check. Especially the guy that spit at the ground. Roll me perception. Yeah, you notice that a little, like two, two or three steps behind you was the Northman that spat on the ground, and he seems to be talking to a young farmer-looking boy and a, a woman that resembles a very kind of Celtic Victorian, uh, uh, Celtic Viking-esque woman. They seem to be talking to the boy. Uh, you notice that at one point the woman glances over at the group and then uh, quickly turns her head back to the boy. Okay, I... I lean in and I whisper, so I'll roll a stealth. Yep. Ooh, that's bad. Can I use my inspiration to roll again? Yes, you can. Okay. That's much better. Hey, reverse numbers. Uh, I lean in and I whisper that uh, the people that are gathering over there by the fountain... Uh, the guy was in the forge with me, and he did not seem to take kindly to the fact that I was there, and seemed to quickly follow me out, and are now gathering over there with two other people, and the woman seems to be glancing over in our direction, mainly towards me. And Sarah's gonna step next to Nearestine. Can Shadow here, considering he's way the fuck over there? No, he can't. No. <laughs> I, I'm he getting ready can. to ask... And, ni and neither can Dar. I'm getting ready to ask Lin Captain Lin the, uh, for directions on where we need to go. Nearest so, Dean, do you... Oh, okay, go on, go on. I'm just saying, so everybody but Dar knows that we're being watched. Yep. Okay. So... I just tell everybody to just keep their guard up and be ready for something should it go down. Because it may go down pretty quick. Because he followed, like, he followed me out almost immediately. And I, I just, I wait to see whatever it is Dar is doing going to do since he is close by Captain Lin. So, uh, we move over to Dar. Dar, you want to approach Captain Lin? What do you want to do? What do you want to say? Uh, uh, excuse me, Captain Lin. Uh, we're almost ready to go. Um, we're just going to grab a few more things, but, uh, do you have the directions of we need to head in? Ah. What, the directions where we need to head? Ah, I was wondering when you would actually ask me that. Um, yes, it's, it's about, uh, Maybe two hours hike away. Uh, if you head towards the the mountains, and then uh, tell you what, she takes out a map. Um, she has a, a scroll of a map uh, of like the surrounding area. Um, and for that, I will move over to the map. Whoop, 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 whoop. She points. Oh. She points out this area here on the map. And she'll go, if you just go here, it'll take you about maybe two, two and a half hours, possibly. Um, but if you go on foot all together and you make a good pace, you'll get there in about two hours. Uh, it'll be right there at the, at the base of this mountain. You'll, you'll know it's 100% when you see it, because you will see that the ogres have made camp outside. Okay. Two hours there, two hours back. Thank you. Uh, yes. Is there anything, any other information we should know uh, that your men were given before they left? Not that I'm aware of. All right. Thank you. And thank you for the offer. Again, apologize for yesterday and earlier today. I don't listen to we'll apologies. We'll be on our way soon. I don't listen to apologies. I listen to changed behavior. You'll see that soon enough, hopefully. Good day. Will it? Will I? Will I? Alright, Hidar heads back over to the group. Okay, uh, Captain Lin said, gave, gave us oh. some directions on the map to where we need to head. It's pretty much a two hours hot. Uh, oh. We've got another problem. And Sierra's whispering. Stealth, please. 
Okay. No, no one. No. From... Me, me. No, but Caitlin, because she's the one whispering. Okay, I just want to make sure. Oh, you are not whispering. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. No, I do not. Damn. But I mean, I don't think I'm being super loud still, hopefully. But uh, I'm trying to keep quiet, but um. And Sarah nods to the people by the fountain. They, they might. We might be having trouble with them because they don't like Nearestine. Oh, great. Uh. Fuck. So we got a couple options. Do we want to talk to them or what? I think it would be best safe to let Captain Lynn handle it, maybe? Since they're her people? They haven't done anything wrong. Why would we get the captain involved? To keep anything from starting. That. Maybe. We're the outsiders here. We shouldn't draw as much attention as possible. Attention as possible. Never mind. Uh, he's, he's got a point. He does, but getting the captain involved over nothing doesn't seem like a good we, idea. We, no, but we could have. We could. We could have talked to a guard just as easily. It's up to you, Nerestine. But uh, do we want to leave? They seem to be breaking away for now, so... Well, Something to keep go. an eye on but when we get back to town, maybe. Yeah. Uh, get going? Says, uh, actually, uh, yeah. Just need to go through, uh, to the general store, but um, who says there seems to be some civil unrest in the village? Not surprising, considering they hung a bunch of people for being part of a cult. Well, you don't know exactly what the cult did, so they probably had a good enough reason. For which one? <laughs> that was the j same thing. J just go to the general store. Yeah, again, not time or place. What? 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 And Sierra's just gonna, gonna take a deep breath and say, I'm gonna kick his ass. I'm gonna kick his ass. Or enters. You, you, you gotta I, I enter really the store. Hope, I really hope I am he says that. Like he opens the door. Opens <laughs> the door. <Ta> enters. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the third person now. God damn it. Hello. Good afternoon. Oh, uh, he oh hello. Hi. Um, my friends were in here earlier. They told us, I assume they already told you that Captain Lin is saying us a mission deal with the ogres and trolls. Um, is there any information you might be able to help uh, give us to help deal with trolls? A friend of mine said that asset might help. I doubt you may have that here. Well, we had one vial acid, but um, someone else come in and bought it. I'm afraid. Damn. Uh, how about whetstones? Your pal, you know, as a group, you should probably talk to each other about what you buy. We're a bit of a group of misfits. Communication is something we're still working on. <laughs> well, the fact of the matter is, one of your friends already bought the whetstones, so... Okay, well then. Thank you for your time. Uh, we'll be on your way. Goodbye. Good day. You didn't, like, you didn't, like, you didn't like say, I'm gonna go buy a whetstone out loud to us? No, he didn't. And Sarah's gonna give uh, Nearestine two days worth of rest. My brain hurt. Brain <laughs> hurt. <laughs> brain <laughs> hurty. <laughs> oh, very hurty. Welcome. I I assumed it was just one. I didn't think it was plural. My bad. So, uh, and Sarah's got twelve days worth of rations still on her. Okay, we're all ready to go. <gasps> Are we ready to go, everybody? I mean, Are we ready? Are we ready? So. Right, okay. I'm ready. So, how would you like to proceed? Would you like to proceed going to the campsite in a normal pace, which will take you about two hours, a fast pace, which you'll get there in about an hour and a half, or a painfully slow pace but stealthy approach, which will take you two and a half hours? Um... Can we I go normal for 
Wait, I think stealthy's we... best. I was gonna say, can we do normal for some of it and then stealthy for no. when we get closer? Mm. No. I'm gonna uh, no, okay, I'm, gonna I'm gonna say go you stealthy, have to pick. Yeah. Stealthy, yeah. Yeah. Painfully slow. Alright, so what I would like you to do, we're all gonna go stealthy. That's gonna take two and a half hours. I would like every member of the party to roll oh, stealth. Wait. Wait, I would like to cast pass without a trace. How long and does I'd that like to take off my armor? How long does I will be carrying? How long take does off pass armor as well. How long does uh, pass without trace uh, uh, take? I'll just, I'll just I'm gonna it. stop. I'm gonna stop, and I'm gonna tell you: if you take off your armor, you're not gonna have time to put it back on before the fight. Oh Fuck. shit! Never okay. mind. The armor will stay on. You don't. Yeah. You don't. Roll at disadvantage. You don't get to have both. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait! wait. I know, oh, I know what I can do. I'm gonna cast uh, guidance on myself. Right. So. Um, yeah, because I need to know how long pass that trance uh, works for. Uh, it, oh, yeah, I can't do that. It's only yeah. lasts up to an hour. Yeah, it's not going to last for the whole time. So, what I would like you to all do, everyone make a stealth check. Those of you wearing heavy armor must make a stealth check at disadvantage. Disadvantage, yeah. Oh, Good no, start. Uh, oh, no. Hold on. You're not wearing any armor, you're fine. Yeah, yeah, that was... 13, 18, 19, uh, 20, 21, 22. Also, I'm going to roll the d4 as well. We are, we are passing without a trace, though, right? No. No. Oh, that didn't happen. I only last an hour. Woo! Oh. I've got it to... Oh, now I got it to 22, the first roll. Okay, so what I'm going to say is this. You have managed to move stealthy enough to avoid detection. However, you are not stealthy enough to have gained a surprise round. Well, at least we didn't, uh, didn't oh, get caught. Fuck. So... Yeah... Right. I will oh move boy. your tokens over and I will explain to you what you see. Right. Oh, so. lovely big boys. Big oh. boys! Big shoulders. Shit. Shit, I don't know if I'm emotionally prepared for combat tonight. <laughs> well, too bad, fucker. Get ready. Interesting. You oh. got no choice. I, I was very much ready for my RP session. You had a good uh, RP session. It was a really good RP session. I mean, it's still an RP session mostly, but... It, it was. I'm in fight. I, I don't know if... Ooh. Um, I was not ready. expecting this. How were you not expecting this? He said this, like, nearly two hours ago? He didn't oh, expect it to be the same session, fuck. is what it was. Oh. Right, so... Oh, it works. I've got Da. I've got. I, I, I thought we. I thought we were gonna stop when we got here. I've got insert. Am I? Is that everyone? Or am I being crazy? I'm right here. Um. That's Hera, Nerstein, Wilkwall, Yaxbar. Yaxbar. That's uh, that's who it was. Yaxbar. We got Hera. Yeah. And Seymour. Right. Uh, Seymour. Wilkin won't. <laughs> Can move. Yeah, Nerestine. You should I'm hoping if I've done it right, you should all have permissions. <laughs> oh, the only one that doesn't is Yaxper. I need to try and fix that. Yeah. You that should you should now though. But give me a sec because I've got to give you um Seymour. Right. So this is where some stuff gets important. So um you're gonna be travelling from the side. But I need to know, how would you travel as a group? Who would be at front? Who would be at middle? Who would be at back? Do you take a particular formation? Uh, so um, I'm the stealthiest. I would be up front. Okay, you'd be up front? Yeah. 
I'd be towards the back. I'd probably be towards the front since a shield. Middle-ish. Alright, let me <laughs> set you guys all up with your health as well. So, 61. One. The hell is going on? Token, behave. You're in zero. What's your health? Your health's that number. So you have health. Does. Mm, no, they don't have health. So what's their health? Wow, a lot of you have the same health. It's weird. <laughs> Oh, Sam, by the way, I do have a coin should you require another coin flip for tonight. Cool. That might be handy. Shit, are we about to hit five hours? Almost. Alright, where's Dar's health? Uh, I'll be right back. No problem. Okay. Right. So, Plus is it... Combat's a big video. Is it safe to say that this, that's the, the walking order, yeah? Uh... Um... I would probably be here. Okay. Yeah. Right. Seems about right. So, you get to about just here, and um, you can see that there appear to be four large hulking individuals. They are kind of the exact same as they appear, very almost pig-faced. Uh, they have quite a lot of body hair, but they're also quite muscly. Um, I'm not going to make you roll. It, it's safe enough for you to work out that these are ogres. Okay. Um, you get to about where you are, and you hear this ogre talking to this ogre. And he goes, Wait, so hold on. We built the ramparts, and we got the spiky bits. Why are we doing this again? You know, because the bosses said that their men in the shiny armor are going to come back. So we need to make sure that we're prepared for when the big shiny men come back. So that the big shiny men can die. But I thought we killed the other shiny men pretty well. Yeah, no, we did. They're probably going to send more shiny men this time. So, we need to have dwarf fences. Dwarf fences it is. They're adorable. Now, I'm going to roll some stuff. And we're going to see... How well this goes for you. <laughs> oh. Alright. Time to get out our new characters. <laughs> <laughs> with, with how with how prepared to fight I am right now, yeah, that's about to happen. Yeah, well, you're like right. uh, my my grasp on my spell list is zero. Don't worry. But fucking get your spells out. Dicks Just out, spells out. <laughs> you have counter spell. That's all you need. <laughs> yeah, that'll help. Not with against that'll, this. That'll help. Yeah, you're right. yeah. Cara's, advice, Cara's advice might as I mean, well be as good as any I mean, of the advice my brain's going to give me. You could be advice. lucky or unlucky and they have counterspell on them. But, uh, like, just get the D&D wiki and have all your spells out. Just okay. look over. You can't counterspell, counterspell. You can. Can you? You can counterspell, counterspell. Yeah, you but it has to be, it has to be spell. someone else. And you can count. Someone can counterspell a counterspelled counterspell. It's <laughs> as, ridiculous. As long as it's, it's like a draw, but it's like a reverse in Uno. As long as it's a different spellcaster each time, you can counterspell a counterspell and counterspell. It's, as long as it's, if you had an arm, if you had a, a group of just like mages, like uh, wizards, sorcerers, and or warlock, uh, and every single person knew counterspell, you could start a chain of counterspells. <laughs> It would be useless, but yay. Um, so they haven't seen you. They haven't seen you from what's going on at the moment. Okay. Um, 
Okay, uh, real quick. Bush. Mm hmm. Shrub. Mm hmm. Tree. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh... No, wait, that, that's not. A, that's a tree. These are all trees. Okay, okay I just wanted to make sure. Uh. I just figured given the size, it's probably a bush. Some of just bigger they're, trees. They're too okay. far to hear us, right? Maybe. Maybe not. Hmm. Depends if you whisper. Well, yeah, I'd have to roll a stealth then. Oh, boy. Hmm. You can do it. Time to play charades. Oh, boy. Come on, leader. Alright. Uh, <laughs> yay. Dar communicates to Nerissim. Probably get him in one of the trees and take cover and probably take a snipe position. So you said that to her, yeah? Yes. Roll stealth. And I put her stealth. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> all, all you had to do. Damn fuck! <laughs> all you had to do was point at me and point at a tree. Hey! Boss! <laughs> oh, shit! Hey, boss! There's some figgies over there! They's trying to get the catch on us! You're, you're coming in like shit, by the way. <laughs> Probably because I'm talking like shit to say that. Yeah. No better than Shadow was last night. He said, he said, he said, oi, boss, there, uh, there's some thingies over there, they're trying to get the catch on us. Well, they are can hear us. Uh, can you use that? Roll initiative. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How tough are these two? Oh my god, it's four of them. Okay. Yep, I figured. Better than usual. Ooh, ogres. Free and Thank initiative. You fuck. Right. Oh, oh, thank God. Is that everyone? Uh, that's near De Steam. Devin, you didn't click your token. Uh, I'll yeah. add you in, though, but you didn't click yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I actually remember to click my token this time. I'm very proud of myself. And Hera. Oh, don't forget Hera. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm gonna do theirs and just What did you go at the bottom? You should be there. And then Where is Hera? Is she? Oh, there they are. Let me make sure to click their token so that I do theirs. Oh, eighteen, not bad. Um, Hera would go before Dar because they have a much better dex. Right. Mm. And that is it. Alright. That's it for tonight. And then that's the uh, the late title card The Trouble with Trolls. <laughs> Aww. Oh, Damn it, we should have done the fight. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I wanted to do the fight. This, this no, you didn't want to do my fight, bitch! I feel Trolls like... Trolls are more fun! Oh, it's already yeah, gonna take you, forever you know to upload this. Your ass. Plus, I love leaving it on the teaser of a start of a fight. Man, yeah, this, this is gonna be even funnier to watch when you already know the title. Yeah. And you're like, where, where are the trolls? Where are the trolls at? Oh, they're right at the end! Fuck! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every, everyone watching this video has been the fucking John Travolta looking at his wallet. Uh, so when do we want to get together next? That's a question. When when do we want to get together next? Uh, We're still on our bye week with, schedule, right? I'm good with next week. I'm good with week after next. So I think good Sam, the big question is, Sam, when are you available next? Exactly. Um... This entire month is going to be kind of hectic for me, because... My finals are coming up soon. Have they not passed? Um, I thought they passed. No, he just did. No, that. that's I might just be my mixing up. Man. I might be mixing up you and someone else. I know some a bunch of people doing finals at the moment, or having just finished yeah. finals. Um, so I'm gonna. I'm, I'm fortunately. I'm. I'm just gonna say for now, just so I can get things organized. Um, 
Maybe. No, I can't do the final week. I unfortunately, might have to be the first week of June. That far? Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Because I want to make sure I, I, I get this this class straight away. I this, that was going to be I, the it, case, which was why I was uh, hoping we'd do the fight. Hex planning of campaign two goes into overdrive now. No, it's no, like I'm no, I'm working why? on that because that's gonna take its it's gonna take its time because oh, yeah. I, like I said I need to rewrite oh, yeah. everything in regards to races and, and and weapons and stuff. So the only thing is if um is if the final week of this month um my, my files are on a Tuesday like they were this week um. If that's the case, I can keep do it, but for now, I'm just going to say I'm, I'm going to wait until the first week of June. What it's I'm going to say you, is, for now, we'll put it as uh, a pending day of the 3rd of June, which is the, the, the first week of June. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, but if something should change between now and then that may allow us to do it earlier, just let me know and we'll sort it out. Oh, yeah, definitely. All right. Well, I'm going to end the recording there. Thank you for everyone that watched, and I hope you enjoyed and had fun. Um, it was a very RP heavier session today. I get that. I know some people don't like that. I like to have a balance myself. I think we had some really good character moments built on a lot of stuff. It set us up for a good troll and uh, ogre fight, which is going to be very interesting because I know uh, that this fight according to the calculator is very e one way or another so we'll um we'll see how people deal with that but again thank you very much for watching uh we do do these a bit staggered sometimes just because schedules happen and i'm not gonna ask um people to do a session without someone if someone decides that they cannot make it for whatever reason uh, and doesn't give us permission to continue without them um, especially when it comes into a combat situation. Like, there's no possible way that I can do this the next session without Sam, because I'm not going to yeah. play combat for him or have someone else play combat for him. I think that's a bit too that's a bit too invasive in, in doing something for someone else. But, yeah, um, I'll let you know when... Um, we're able to do this next, but I hope you have, or you, you will enjoy it. You have a good evening, and goodbye. <laughs>